without <laughs> letting anyone know that this is just how I like being free as the wind. And, <laughs> and those <laughs> are the very first words spoken. <laughs> Where is the other? Never mind, actually. Swinging but. freely in the breeze like a cut, like a cat insult to nature. My okay. God. So let's uh, let's discuss where everyone is at the moment. First up, elephant in the room, our <laughs> most outlandish character, whose name I have immediately forgotten. Actually, I should get these bloody characters. I haven't got a name yet. Just yeah. Uh... All right. Got well, you are the horse. So <laughs> as you have not named your character, now five minutes Cup. into the first session, rest Still of the party, what do you refer to your horse as? Got a uh, horse. Yeah. No, well, no, don't do this. I'll find well, one. I cat promise. Clop. Cat clop. Cat clop. Uh, going once, going twice. Uh, the motion is rested. Uh, cat clop. clop. It is. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so we have cat clop as played by young Nicholas. <laughs> cat clop. How would you describe yourself in a sentence or less? Um. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Um, a cat. <laughs> Who is a size of a I'm horse? A horse-sized cat. Okay, oh. but the important thing is you do answer to cat clock. We've established that now. That's canon. Uh, <laughs> no. We'll call I him mean, Wimbar. Okay, there you go, Wimbar. Quick, Wimbar. Quick law question for Callum: Would uh, Would Dwemer be aware of Khajiit horse-sized cats? Sorry. Would, would Dwemer be aware of a horse-sized cat Khajiit version? Would that be something that would be within my worldview? Uh, I think Dwemer would barely class them as people or sentient <laughs> beings. So yeah, they should they be aware of them, but in the so, in the sense that you're aware of a Siamese cat. Cool. I'm okay. aware well, elephants are a thing. <laughs> Doesn't cool. mean I yeah, class right. them as people. It's worth pointing out that you're presumably uh, a Dwemer from Skyrim, who are notoriously isolationist and especially douchey. You may have only oh, read yeah. fairly inaccurate books on the subject of weird Khajiit things, because it's not <laughs> to your science. Cat and what they do! Oh, exactly. Uh, on that subject, Ollie, what is your character name, and can you describe yourself in a sentence or less? I'm not just using this as a covert method to figure out which of these noodle soup word names are played by who. <laughs> so, <laughs> my, name, my name is Janbrik Olka, and I am a very confused and barely awake Dwemer. Very rudely awakened. And is now being dragged around with a travelling cat circus. We'll give you your party introduction shortly, but thank you. Uh, Benji. What is your character's name? You know what my name is, you fool, because you can see it on the character sheet. Oh yeah, you're, uh... What is that? Ar Arnold... Arnal Finson, my Ar son! Alright, Arnal Finson. Finson! And, uh, would you like to describe yourself in one word? Uh, one word? <laughs> one sentence? <laughs> <laughs> one word. Archaeologist! <laughs> Archaeologist, full stop. <laughs> Alright. Skyrim belongs to the Nords, and all its treasures for me! <laughs> You're kind of blurring the line between West Country and Pirate. Which yeah, is, that there's, went a, there's a very good reason for that, it's because the Pirate accent is just the West Country no, accent. I'm familiar, it's also my accent. I know. <laughs> Isn't it weird how all the GM's NPCs sound exactly like Benji? How did that happen? You see, Skyrim belongs to the Nords, but we were famously in Breadlot. <laughs> <laughs> There's really not much tonal variation yeah, here. Actually, pretty true. Um, cool. Next up. Well, okay, we know you're Nicholas. Uh, oh well. Should I say we know Catclop? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Wimbar. Do Wimbar. All right, there, Catclop. <laughs> Catclop to his friends, though, right? Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> You are barely more than I am a, a, a horse-sized lynx, and you will respect me. Exactly. You make He's an excellent beast of burden. All right. You know what? We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Callum, what is your name? Uh, and your sum yourself up in. I, 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 if we're diminishing, then you have half a syllable, or what? You have a <laughs> syllable. <laughs> uh, oh, that's that it. Already. It's uh. Uh. uh my name's it, Ravier Borinson. Let's try that again. My name is Ravier Bjornsson. Skyrim belongs to the Nords, whether furred or not. 
Last I checked, Skyrim belonged to us, I think. Skyrim belongs to the Nords, including re- legally registered <laughs> citizens of Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that, I'm there like, there's an apostrophe there. No, sorry, there's an actor. Or an ear, I got my passport. What is your uh, character's name, and could you sum yourself up in a sentence or less? Uh, I'm Zan Zarim Zahir. 90% of the time, I appear like a normal house cat and rarely speak, but sometimes I put on wizard robes and make ludicrous demands to everyone in 300 meters. <laughs> 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 oh, this is going to be a fun party. This is going to be fucking stupid as hell. Oh, I also consider myself fully indebted to Cole's character for a reason I've yet to determine. Fair. Oh. And uh, on that subject, Carl, what is your name, and could you sum yourself up in a sentence or less? Um, Joe Mohasa, or Jomo for short. And I am a uh, alchemist and enchanting extraordinaire. Fair's fair. So wait, do we have four Khajiits? I thought we had three. Uh, four. Yes, if we include. Aha. Uh-huh. We oh, are sixty-six percent percent Khajiit. <laughs> but only half of them are actually humanoid. <laughs> I mean, you could stand. Uh, Zanzahir, Zan, Zanzarim Zahir, <laughs> up on his little legs. <laughs> I, I guess I could as well, but I'd be terrifying. Yes, that would be terrifying. When he does it, when he does it in his tiny wizard robe, it's wonderful and cute. When you do it in your terrifying nudity and armor, it's of being just, a horse, just horrifying. Could you imagine Nick, tr- Nick's character, trying to fit into Creed's character's costume? Just like one little it's wizard robe on a lake. going to work. His face <laughs> is bigger than Creed's character. <laughs> I, I fit his entire costume on my fucking, like, one of my paws. Okay, so. Oh, that'd be great. Three of you are part of a travelling uh, circus slash mercantile group slash uh, group of thieves, apparently. Specifically, uh, Joe Mohasa, Jomo for short, uh, Zanzarim Zahir, and their trusty steed, who may or may not go by Catclop, but is apparently extremely annoyed by the name that they tell everyone else. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. <laughs> hey, I didn't vote for it. None of us technically voted for it. No, we which didn't. makes it the best kind of voting. I voted for it. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Creed. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you hadn't spent an hour and a half trying to pick which pauldron type you would have per shoulder. Cibitar? Shut up! No! I just forgot to name, okay? So, the three of you were crossing the border into Skyrim. Behind another larger group of uh, armed men, mostly humans, looks like, from the distance, um, when you were caught up in an ambush. Arrow fire from all directions. Yeah. <laughs> Although you are uninjured, you are arrested due to your proximity to the, the ambushed military force by what you see rather alarmingly are Imperial Legionnaires. Meanwhile, some ways backwards in time. Uh, where's the name? It was Yunbrick Ulka, right? Yunbrick Ulka. Yunbrick Ulka. Is a Dwemer engineer of presumably some modest notoriety. Noted for a few things his sleepiness, his daring, and his technical prowess. And he has been... Sometimes. Ooh, sorry? Sometimes all three of those combine into machines that do the work for me whilst I sleep. Very frequently. And, uh, and, and you have been working on... As I understand it from your backstory pitch earlier today, some form of moon rocket to take you <laughs> into space. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> this world didn't work out for the Dwemer. He's going to go find a better one. <laughs> no, well, at the moment, everything's working pretty fine for the Dwemer. You're, you're having, generally, a, a fairly good time. Uh, you know, there, there's a whole situation going on uh, over to the east in... God, what's the name? Not Dormaris. Resdane, there we go, if I remember correctly. Uh, Resdane, what will one day become the Imperial Province of Morrowind. The Dwemer over there are warlike, they're having a big slap fight match with a load of primitive mer. You don't really give a shit. You're from a significantly more civilized, to your mind, hold somewhere in Skyrim. Or, more accurately, somewhere beneath Skyrim. You are just about readying yourself to uh, take your first trip into space. You think you've worked out how to penetrate the atmosphere of your planet, of Mundus, and escape into the raw stuff of creation in what looks for all the world like a giant upturned boat. You are just about to hammer on the, the button the go button when <laughs> somewhere many miles away someone else makes a similar motion holding a particularly potent mystical hammer they <laughs> whack the heart of a dead god and in a puff of logic almost all Dwemer everywhere effectively disappear with two exceptions One Dwemer who was exploring the outermost planes of existence at the time, a chap by the name of Yagram, who will arrive back on Mundus, I think some years later, and be very confused about where his people went. And then a second Dwemer, a sleepy Dwemer, who was pressing a button to jet them into space at the exact moment that they would have been philosophied out of existence. And due to some rather arcane metaphysics, is instead merely catapulted through time. And some dozens to hundreds of miles in a random direction. Skipping elsewhere. Arnulf Finson. And Revere Bjornsson, whose dads Finn and Bjorn presumably got on famously. Uh, you have just been finishing up presumably some form of archaeological dig. Uh, Arnold digs, Revere guards, and punches Draugr in the face when they show up. You're emerging blinking into the daylight when you too are caught up in an ambush. Knocked out and taken unjustly prisoner. By an amazing stroke of luck, almost all of you regain consciousness at the exact same time. Bound, chained to the cart you're in, oh, no. or behind it in the case of the uh, horse, <laughs> There's only one other occupant in there with you. A Nord who looks at each of you, concerned in turn. Ah, so, you're awake? Oh god, does that mean Green is the Dragonborn? He has an equal chance as the rest of us to be the legend. <laughs> Roll to be Dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> I could not even look down upon this house cat and go, you shall have the soul of a dover. Right, everyone pick a straw. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm thinking of a power? number between one and five. Sorry, Ali? Uh, nothing, it was a shit joke. Uh, I cut out for a moment there. Creed, you're the dragonborn. <laughs> You're uh, not the Dragonborn. That is a terrible no, I idea. Think, I think he said I am. Or is he? Canonically, you are now the Dragonborn. That is a terrible idea, and let me list out the 52 <laughs> reasons I can immediately think of as to why. 
So you all apparently stare at each other, blinking and confused. The last thing you remember in most instances is wildly different. The two Nords were coming out of a ruin to find a fight going on and then boom, out like a light. The Khajiit, you were being mobbed by Imperial Legionnaires and uh, turn by turn, out. Uh, and the Dwemer, you were about to launch yourself into space and then you woke up on this cart, chained. Um, Am I chained? You are also chained, Tiny Cat. Am I chained behind it? You're chained what behind the cart. You and the house cat are chained by the neck. <laughs> okay. So I still got all my weapons. <laughs> Who sees an ambush <laughs> the <rest of> cat? <laughs> Dedicated is, guards? This is a world where magical familiars exist. Fair. That's fair. Cops who take no shit. <laughs> You're coming with me, right meow. <laughs> gonna alt tab back. There we go. <laughs> Into the wanker's corner you go. The uh, the Nord looks at each of you in turn. Are are you all right, guys? You all Boy. just a little bit. Pale. He gestures at the clearly distressed house cat. Oh. <laughs> yes, my lord. <laughs> you get a slightly confused reaction back at that one. You're not serving me to Dolly. Wait, I'm not with them. He, uh, he nods. You know, I, I don't think selling out your friends is going to get you anywhere this time, I'm afraid. We're all... No. You don't understand. I'm, I'm not with them. I, we're, we're all brothers in bonds, guests of the Imperial Legion. Oh, uh, Ollie's having technical issues. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a split decision on my first line and I decided to cower, cower out, not do West Country. <laughs> well, that's okay. You're not a real Nord, so... <laughs> you say oh. you want to be a Nord and you won't even do the accent. <laughs> How do we know that Skyrim's truly for you? Born and raised here. Where's your white run brogue? <laughs> no, you don't have to do the accent if you don't want to. Uh, Technically, a, a Markarth brogue. Alright, all right, where's your Markarth brogue? I'm not gonna lie, I, I didn't actually get around to reading your backstory before the sesh. I was ah, you dick. And, and then I mostly just wrote notes. Oh no. It's like Ollie's having some serious issues. Yeah. Ah, I'm back. Here we go. Oh, we can there go. Yeah, it, it kept... I, I tried rejoining and not, and it did nothing. Well, here we are. Now. So, the, uh, the Nor gives you a, a, a fairly gentle laugh. Well, you won't have long to, uh, to hurt your friends at this rate, I'm afraid. We're not that far from, by my counting, Helgen. Well. <laughs> what? He what's a Helgen? What, what, what's a Helgen? He squints his eyes. Why have you got that cat chained to you? Which is uh, chained to Jomo. Just like to slowly turn, you know, like the way cats generally do when they're about to do something that you're not going to like. Just look at him in the eye. This cat is a glorious priest of my people. How dare you say anything like that? Um, and I would like to start quite furiously rocking in my restraints. <laughs> he he rears backwards. Uh, I didn't mean anything by it, my lord. I just calmed down. <laughs> there are two Imperials in the front of the cart, and one turns round, uh, a rather hefty crossbow in hand. Stop making movement back there! Wiggling his crossbow suggestively. I like to snarl. We are a proud citizens of Skyrim and demand to be treated as such. He, <laughs> the, the Imperial soldier snorts. Yeah! <laughs> Proud citizens of Skyrim, so are the ones on that cart. Jerks his head, uh, jerks his hand to the uh, the cart in front. 
is there a cart behind? Oh no, technically you'd be the cart in front, sorry, yeah. So jerks his finger to a cart behind you. Okay. Swings his hand back around. <laughs> like the most dramatic one time. <laughs> 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 While still one, hold, uh, one arm holding the crossbow. Oh god. Uh, yes. On it you can see four figures by my counting. Uh, three of whom are just dressed in rags uh, and one is in the fairly fine attire of does anyone have any relevant political knowledge? <laughs> I, the horse! I'm a bit more concerned with dead cultures than I am with the current political situation, to be honest. Like, no one sees all freaking no one cares. <laughs> I see a man in fancy clothes, they all m much the same, and they mostly just pay me for the stuff I dig up. I'm a simple man, I got me shovel. You, you you said you were playing an archaeologist, but you're very clearly playing an artifact hunter. Maybe a tomb raider. I, I Get mean, that picture the two, out. Not, the two two are not mutually exclusive. Robber. Oh dear. Uh. <laughs> God damn it. Where were we at? Uh, cool. So the Nords would recognise vaguely the finery, if not the uh, individual. You're, uh, you're actually looking over there at uh, a Nordic nobleman of some kind. Uh, a fairly finely attired one, too. Though it's not the Jarl of Markarth. I know that much. He uh, sits back round with his crossbow. And if I hear any more belly aching from the lot of you, I'm going to shoot the little one. Better teeth. I mean... Why is that considered a threat? Fine by me. <laughs> he turns round with the crossbow again, and then I will shoot the big one, pointing Fine directly by me. at the archaeologist. I'm not the big one on this cart. There's a massive horse thing right there. <laughs> the horse is being led along behind my it. teeth. <laughs> he, I don't have pointing behind me with no. me head. <laughs> he uh, he raises his eyebrows. No, we're probably going to sell that at auction. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want, I'd like you to get your size right. Calling me the big one is completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> he settles back into his seat. I don't have time to argue with you. You, you realise that, right? You... Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I <laughs> don't have time. Well, I'll shut around and starts making dismissive gestures with the other cart guy. He says he doesn't have time to argue with us. But all there is is time on a journey like this. Maybe he has time to let us go. Um, are we actually locked in anything? You are chained to the cart. Uh, yeah, but I'm just clarifying with the chains. Is it like Leg manacles or manacles like... Manacles on the hands and legs. Even the horse is actually somewhat manacled up. The cat okay. isn't. Uh, the house cat isn't. Uh, how, how tight is the thing oh, on my head? It's, Does it feel impossible to escape, or could I just like... So it's like r clamped right around your neck and locked, uh, and it's tied to the, the hand manacles of uh, Jomo. So you're pretty heavily locked in. The uh, remaining okay. Nordic prisoner turns back to you. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I, I hate to break this to you. I... I think we're going to die. <laughs> oh, I pay my taxes. I demand to speak to the whoever is in charge here. Quick, I can't tie with a load of cats. Who, uh, who is in charge right now? I'm, I'm not sure to... when I am. Uh, the uh, the the Nord looks at you curiously. Is the elf not with you guys? Well, we <laughs> in an archaeological dig, and then some bastard knocked us out, and here we woke up. Archaeological dig, eh? Yeah, no, we've heard that one a million times before. Why do you think we've got all this <laughs> shoveling equipment on us? All right, Young I, I've, I've got two. I've got two. No, three words for you: grave robbers. Uh, Young Brick looks at his hands and saw that the people around him was like, "Was 
Was I the archaeological experiment? <laughs> um, am I the dig? Robbers, what bloody graves are there out here? Oh, I mean, there's going to be ours rather shortly. Other than that one, and those uh, won't have treasure in, you twat! Actually gets a giggle from the guys around the front of the cart. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Uh, this would be a very inappropriate moment for the Imperial to high-five the Nordic prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I, uh, I would just kind of like to, because uh, I presume that uh, Zanzarim is like on my lap as well as just being chained to me rather than like sat next to me. Yes, presumably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, I would like to get like very close and whisper, Sir Priest! I can set you free if you wish. Please, it must be quick. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I can understand you if you like nod and shit. I'm well aware that you're like, intelligent. <laughs> this is quite the room. Yeah, that, that was a yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, meow. Um, uh, I'm sure you'll figure out what I'm saying <laughs> at some point during the campaign. <laughs> It's all about the finality. Meow! 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 Could have exchanged my high priest with a regular house cat something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what, are you, what are you thinking of here, Carl? Uh, I would like to use the open alteration spell to unlock the lock of uh, the binding. God, what are the components on that? Do you have to make a noise? Oh, uh, I. The thing, I was just looking at it and it doesn't actually say anything on the spell. It probably just goes, <laughs> Make the. Oh, <laughs> Oi, lock, open up, get your life together. That's. Yeah, the spells don't really have components um, in the system, do they? Uh, yes, they do. Just trying to figure out where it is. I'd like to yeah. shuffle as far away from the other Khajiit as I could. <laughs> like to turn to Revere. I know, fucking stinks, doesn't he? Makes me sick. Um, I know. Uh, I swear they I smell like the They smell like tuna. No, there are like restrictions and stuff, like there are like um, conditions. Okay, conditions. Yeah, it like, says like mage guard and stuff. Um, well, I'm looking at uh, casting a spell. Uh, spell components, if the character cannot speak, they suffer a minus pen, uh, 20. Uh, they suffer an additional minus 20 if uh, they do not have two free hands. So I, I'm presuming it's a wrist binding, like you said, one to each sort of thing. So it's like chained up rather than like right against a board. You do need to make precise motions though, and spells are not uncommon. So I would say they've probably deliberately chained you in a way that's going to be awkward to cast spells, like you'd be doing this type of thing. With your hands crossed. That said, you can still speak. So that sounds like it will be open at a minus 20. Yeah. And I do have a depth. Uh, they will hear you saying it, though. But if I whisper real quiet, like... Hmm. I don't <coughs> know if do you I could... What? Sorry, Ewan, do I start with Lord Dwemer for free? Would I start with that for free? I mean, depends how much you know about your own people. You may have been a very, like, Cloud Cuckoo Lander type of a character. I mean, engineer, so I probably wasn't interacting with the history a huge amount. I mean, the history of the Duemma is largely the history of engineering. Mm. So, somewhat then? Would you say it's fair for it to be free or not? I don't know if we gave it to anyone else for free, is the thing. Uh, you know, what, fuck it, it's probably easier. Everyone gets their race law for free. Why not? Okay. Uh, should I get uh, Nord, right? Yeah, Nord, yeah, Nord rather than Khajiit. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you even know you're a Khajiit? I know I'm a Khajiit. Yeah. You sure you're not just a very furry human? I just did. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> to shave once. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Iron Man shaving. <laughs> Wait, is the, word, is the word werewolf like a dirty word in Skyrim? No, this werewolves point are... Uh, Daedric followers, so they're not well liked. Okay. Well, implied Daedric followers. The okay. basic system for werewolves and vampires is they're generally known to be pretty easy to cure. So the assumption is if you are a werewolf or a vampire, that means you wanted it. 
so it's it's easy to cure when you're becoming one it's less easy to cure when you are one uh, yeah exactly that's what i mean you have you have three days after infection where you need to basically take a small antibiotic and if you do that it is a 100 percent cure rate wow and those antibiotics are not expensive so. hey, where you come from i mean not even here it's, it's a common cure disease uh thing and most people will give you a cure disease potion if it's like, hey, I'm going to become a werewolf, help me please, I don't want to kill everyone. Yeah, a compelling argument. Uh, cool, so what do we actually roll to cast a spell then? It looks like you, de uh, oh, you don't declare spell level, you have a spell level. Yeah. Three. Yeah. And no, you don't have to really roll stuff if it's targeting something normally. Uh, looking at the lock, it's just uh, to unlock. It's that sounds suspicious. <laughs> I'm casting test. Not convinced that you don't need to roll. Yeah, the caster uh, makes a skill test with the skill corresponding to the school of spell. Thank you. Uh, blah, blah blah. For the purpose of a cast of a respective spell level, add plus one to the governing school skill rank. Okay. Let's uh, test that. Out. Okay, right. So if I were to cast above my ability, then I, I would also get a minus 10 for each level above it it is. Uh, what is your spellcasting ability? Uh, 3. Ah, cool, and it's at 3, so you're fine. Yeah. Right. Shred. Uh, cool. And for alteration, Sorry. you're rolling... Oh, I suppose alteration, actually. Yeah. Okay, f first, first roll of the campaign. Uh, you you uh, you are aware of the risks here, right, guys? <laughs> Namely, one shotting the cat. I'll be all right. Not That's pretty hard to hit. A, not if you get shot with a crossbow bolt. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know I'm tiny. There's at least <laughs> minus twenty to hit. Me. First death of the campaign: <laughs> yeeting the cat out of the cart. My <laughs> <laughs> hey, lord, run! Turns out there was enough room to swing a cat in here. Get in the sea, Ollie. <laughs> you have no idea how many times you've told me that. And I'm still not in the sea. Look, I'm bone dry. Not going anywhere near that one. Uh, yeah, alteration at minus 20, please, Carl. Um, I believe having it at 3 gives me a plus 20, as in my adept. Um, Wait, what? So, uh, I need to find it again. God damn it, there's fucking shit everywhere. Um... Where is the other rolling thing? Because, like, really conveniently, rolling magic is in its own section, and how to find the actual rollings. Uh, yeah, skill rank value, uh, journeyman, plus 20. Does that apply for magic rolls on the... Uh, that you would automatically have to have to cast a spell at a certain rank, though? That feels double dippy. Uh, have, you got, have you got a spell page for me? A uh, spell page. Um, a page number. Four. Four. It's a very complex number. No, I said four. which four, <laughs> as in which rolling thing? Uh, for the um, additional plus there. Oh, hold on, alteration. Uh, da -da -da -da. Magic. Um, uh, talk amongst yourselves for a moment whilst I'm uh, reading a thing, please. Yeah, I was looking at skill ranks on page 39. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, the two of the Khajiit are kind of whispering to each other. Well, one's whispering to a house cat, which is chained to him. Uh, rest of you, talk. And given scritches. <laughs> so, the priests like them chin scritches. Hell so, yeah. No one, no one answered my question. What? What do you know of. You know what? Who rules the land? Wh where am I? You're a proud Skyrim. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, second... Greatest question. land of the world. S second question. What's a Skyrim? The Nordic race. Third sons of, home of the Sons of Entmora. You Greatest would, place on Earth. You would know what Skyrim is. It's the, like terrible above-ground uh, place where the savages live. Ah, in which case, 
Okay, this this bad day just got worse. What? what? Are you one of the? Uh, are you? I'm looking at one of the Nords here, uh, and I'm there like, are you? Are you one of the 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 lesser races? One of the uh, you know the, uh, the, the 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 um the primitives. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. How dare you? That's what I thought. Primitives. If I could move my hands, I'd punch you. <laughs> but you're a Khajiit. You're... I get some water. <laughs> Young Brick sort of shrinks back into his shell a little bit. He has no idea what's going on. Turn to Arnov. Is he a Thalmor? So he's not said anything openly racist yet. Well, apart from the whole primitive, the whole primitive thing, well, that's pretty par for the chorus with those fucking elves. Uh, it's... 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 Everyone who... The above-grounders. You know what? You wouldn't understand. Put him up. Do you think they'd take it? Maybe we could get out of this. We could offer them all up. What? The, the fucking myrrh? Well, well to be yeah. fair, the, the Imperials the are kind of a bit overly fond of them. Nah, we'll, we'll find the... We'll get to the authorities, and then we'll explain our situation. We're, we're Nords, and this is Skyrim. They're not just going to execute us. There's a suppressed guffaw from the front of the cart. Uh, yes, I'm gonna say that I don't think you get your rank bonus on spells, Carl, because otherwise, like, in order to cast a Grandmaster spell, it has to have, like, a plus 60 or something ludicrous attached to it, which feels really weird. Uh, uh yeah. In, in what way? Where? What? Cool. So, uh, at the moment, you have journeyman spells, right? Journeyman spells should not just automatically be at a, a plus 20 in order to actually cast them. So it, by the time you get up to expert, that means that any expert spell you cast at would be a uh, plus 40. Uh, yeah, I'll be sitting there. Let me, let me just check the actual spell yeah, cast. Like, I think for... Because I've just read through them and I can't see anything. I think the system for this presumably is like... It would still apply if you were trying to work out... Uh, like using alteration as a law test or something like that. Potentially. Um, and then other than that, I think the ranks in it probably should be giving... Uh, are mostly intended to let you actually use spells above your level without them instantly backfiring. Is there a, a list of items somewhere? I can only find weapons and shields and armor. If you keep on scrolling down, there is. Yeah. The weapons and shields and armor is the big item list. Yeah. No, there's adventurous gear just underneath that. Yeah, yeah that's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. Cheers. Uh, yes. So that is uh, alteration at a minus 20, please, Carl. It's going to go down. No, I'm just facing the other place. Well, I don't think it's a backfire because it's a simple spell, but uh, just as you're mouthing the words with what you think is a fairly stealthy whisper, a rock comes flying out from the front of the cart and beams you right in the face. The guy turns around, the legionnaire, crossbow to hand. If I hear got calm on him. <laughs> 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 That's a him. Array demands you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, reluctantly, as we established, the cat does not have. Um, handcuffs, uh, manacles around its arms, so his hand movements are actually, yeah, <laughs> rears up and makes weird motions. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like, he's, he's cross-legged and just like, sat up and goes, calm yourself. <laughs> well, either that or he's laying down on Jomo's stomach, uh, j uh, on his back, rather, so his belly's up and he's casting into the air. 
Is that cat having a seizure? Uh, cool. What page is calm? Uh, where was it? I was near it. There you go. Ba, 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 ba. Illusion is ninety six. Nice. Uh, hovel slash shack. I'm I mean, casting at my level, which is three. I think I missed some of the spell rules, so I've got no idea how they work. Cool. Yeah. So it looks like he, you uh, you roll your illusion. Is this? Yeah, illusion at plus zero. And then he opposes with willpower. Right. What is my illusion roll off as a base? It's in. Is it in or willpower? I believe it's, it's in. Oh, my willpower, actually. Oh, I think ah. Scar's willpower, yeah. Ah, there we go, willpower, apparently. Willpower, okay. Glad someone's read the rules. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Fuck my life. What's the DOS? Uh, is it just Dark Heresy DOS? Yeah, just, I'm sure there is is a very good reason that they have it structured slightly differently, but let's just ignore their carefully balanced rule <laughs> set. Uh, Okie doke, three. <laughs> cool, opposing with willpower. <laughs> <laughs> he turns around, snarling, crossbow to hand. The cat makes a little wiggle gesture, and he just kind of... <laughs> now, I saw somewhere in spell casting. There's something that makes it reduce the cost of mana if you succeed or something? Let me have a look. If you critically succeed, I think. Spell restraint. On a successful spell cast, a mage can use their will to limit excessive use of magicka. This is known as spell restraint. A character can choose to reduce the cost of a successful cast spell by their willpower bonus. I mean, if you've got it, go ahead. Is it a skill I need to earn? It's just on the page for casting. Uh, page number? Uh, 88. Uh, spell restraint or restraint? Uh, no, it looks like it just kind of works, basically. Uh, I think you can just do it. Okay, cool. That's an interesting mechanic. Reduce the cost by The party settles in, and you're slowly trekked through the uh, the woods due south of Helgen. And your cart begins ticking upwards, trekking upwards into the mountains. After you've passed maybe 10-15 minutes in awkward silence, the Dwemer occasionally trying to get answers out of people as to where he is, what's going on, why he's trapped up in this cart, do you all have fire yet, or what's the level of technology we're dealing with here? The Nord, who's traveling with you, eventually turns around and, and just quietly elbows uh, Jomo in the side. Here, that, your master there. Is he magic? I won't even dignify that with a response. Yeah, oh, fuck, I was muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he's not my master, but he is indeed magics. It's a worryingly good Khajiit voice. <laughs> Thank you. He, uh, he nods. Well, I think he might have seen you back there a little bit. <laughs> yes, my own attempt failed. He'll only be calm for a minute as well. <laughs> yeah, by that, point, by that point you've kind of forgotten what he was mad about and you all quietened down a little bit so we just kind of let you get all on right, cool. <laughs> got 80 more uh, magicka I can try 8 more times <laughs> I will unlock you my lord <laughs> <laughs> a small argument seems to have broken out on the cart behind you can see that two of the Nords sat next to each other are having a go at each other and uh, one of the Nords sat next to the, the nobleman is kind of leaning over the front, casually berating the cart driver.
The scenery of southern Skyrim slowly rolls by you. The forest gives way to mountain. In the distance you can hear the roaring of trolls. And a gentle dusting of snow blows down from the peaks, washing onto you, catching on the fur of many of the Khajiits. And, uh, Catclop, how are you doing back there? <laughs> you. Did you say we can hear the, the roar of trolls? In the very distance, yes. Uh, okay. It's been morning season. The distant lowing of the trolls. <laughs> So it is the uh, noise they make. Though Wimber is doing fine, uh, might make a comment to um, Zan about, I'm not going to die, I'm getting sold. <laughs> <laughs> There's high aspirations there. You just brag about getting sold off into presumed slavery. <laughs> What do you think I am right now? The best part is we can just tell the, that the new owners that your name is uh, Catclop. And you can't tell them any different. <laughs> if you Wimba find a better master. <laughs> Christ. Uh, so. The Nord who's travelling with you. you. Hear that? Is that. Wait. Turns to Jomo again. I'm trying not to offend. So, is that boy there? Uh, one of your, your priestly temple laddos as well? I'm just going to blink slowly and go back to paying attention to my lord. I, I have genuinely no idea whether that means yes or no. <laughs> Oi, uh, you other Khajiit. He looks clearly at Revere. Is, uh, is that one of yours? Fuck off. <laughs> Alright. That's a little bit rude. <laughs> turns to the mur. Actually, you know what? You're not worth talking to. You you just seem like a bit of a pretentious arsehole. Ooh, you know big words. <laughs> he blinks. <laughs> makes this eye contact with the only other Nord in the cart. Before he can say anything, I would like to lean over to him and it's like, you see why I just blinks? <laughs> <laughs> turns to Jomo I think you have the right idea there actually mate This is I see why no one's been talking for the past quarter of an hour This. <laughs> I'm not going to lie guys I expect to die within the day and this is easily worse <laughs> <laughs> we'd just like to swear in Dwemeris <laughs> and using the true accent of the Dwer Dwemeris people <clears throat> I need to can't believe this shit oh, that's better <laughs> <laughs> yes you may have missed this, Ollie. I'm not sure if you were here for it, but uh, Benji has decided that as we're using West Country for the Nords, he will be attempting to... I mean, honestly, that sounded kind of Scouse, but he's going... That was Scouse for oh, Dwemeris. Oh, Scouse now. Well, Dwemeris and, Dw and Dover are two different languages. You oh, might that's know. very true. Sorry. So he's doing, he's doing a Welsh accent for uh, Dover, and he's going to be doing a Scouse accent for Dwemeris. <laughs> you are not obligated to join in on this, but you are heavily encouraged. <laughs> With the proviso that you are being recorded. So I have to just always do a Scouse accent? Uh, no, because you're mostly speaking um, Imperial. And, and sorry, is that in the Welsh accent, is it? No, or... Imperial's in uh, regular accent. The ah. Nords speak Imperial with a West Country accent. The dragons okay. apparently speak with a Welsh accent. <laughs> it makes sense, to be fair. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it does, actually, yeah, it does. Yeah, the, uh, the Welsh are a mystical mountain dwelling people. They like to shout a lot. They have with a their dragon, dragon motif. <laughs> I am so incredibly disappointed in all of you. I, I couldn't tell if you in the portrait was frozen or if you were just <laughs> stunned by no, shot. Just... <laughs> Frozen in <laughs> dear gods. Uh, the cart ride carries on. Once more, you lapse into awkward silence, occasionally punctuated by. Well, actually, no, the Dwemer seems to have settled down now. He's clearly established what's going on. He's outside somehow, not the end of the world, but not the best thing. Uh, and it could have been a lot worse. 
uh, and he's surrounded by savages. But there's got to be an embassy or something, so it'll be fine. Uh, the large cat is apparently very happy about the fact that everyone else in his life is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> very healthy relationships you have there, um, cat cop. If you were forced to, you know, you know, draw the cart of the other four cats, <laughs> you'd be pissed as well. <laughs> Hey, we feed him. Should be enough, goddammit. <laughs> you provide thumbs related services. <laughs> exactly. Who thinks puts the armor on? Yeah. <laughs> I just think there's like, like clatches of uh, um, uh, clasps and stuff that I can just <laughs> with my paws. You're still a thumb. horse, yeah, you've not got thumbs. <laughs> I've got big old paws, though. <laughs> Exactly, yes. big old paws and little I, attaching. I, I don't think buttons. you know what the thumb does, your Nicholas. It's not a sign. <laughs> I, I have jointed, <laughs> I have jointed fingers still, even yeah. without the paws, even without the. Um, thumbs. No, you know what? This is not worth engaging. More than a normal horse has. You're not a horse. Well, no, yes, but still. Really, how much experience do you even have with thumbs? <laughs> Taking them off a fair amount. <laughs> Where it's not a sense of place to be here today. No, you know what, again. I'm jealous. Pace. <laughs> just shunt young Nicholas's strange thumb detachable issues to the side. So after what I, ends up being... Oh, sorry, Ollie. I, think, I don't think law has specializations. I think it's just law. So we don't. We actually do have to buy the rank in it. Um, uh, the sheet doesn't have any. Yeah, the sheet doesn't have any. You should still have I just it. put mine as a trait in power. <laughs> Uh, Ewan is allowed to give us specializations for anything as a gift if he feels. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, it says example specializations. It's like the second line and the skill. All, all of them give example specializations, and I was wondering about that. Every single skill. Uh, sorry, every single Special yeah, skill. And then the second paragraph in specializations in this skill reflect a character's focus on one particular subject. Cool. So okay. you have like a generalized law skill. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, presumably. So it seems like you have a generalized law skill, which is your nerd stat. Uh, but then you have specializations in particular subjects. So it would be cool. uh, law skill, but with three specializations. Cool, that makes sense. Cool. In which case, I still have to buy law then. No, I don't. Uh, cool, yes. So after what ends up being about an hour of awkward traveling, during which several more abortive escape attempts are uh, narrowly foiled with judicious almost application of crossbow, uh, you pull in at the small mountain town of Helgen. Population no more than a couple of thousand, if that. It's really just a few dozen buildings cramped together and uh, a small section of warrens beneath the towns surrounding Helgen Keep. It is stuffed to the brim with legionnaires. Well, I'm... I'm not getting killed, it's fine. <laughs> really? Success, haven't you, young Nicholas? I'm clinging to that. That's all I've got right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you're not going to die, and I'm going to live. And be promptly forgotten about by the new party rolled up, and thus <laughs> basically dead anyway. <laughs> Grim. So... Your carts are brought to a stop. They unload the one behind you first, though. And after a small altercation, you see one of the Nords go running for it. Screaming about how he wasn't meant to be here, he's just a horse thief, and he doesn't want to die. He's rendered effectively a, an impromptu hedgehog very rapidly by Imperial archers, just perforated with a dozen arrows. Collapses to the ground, sputtering and bleeding. A Nordic Rollmaster rocks up to your cart. Right now, out one by one, someone... Well, I guess we'll take the... What is this cat? <laughs> well... <laughs> Like, uh, actually, it, that's a very good point. My chain. And what is that cat as well? <laughs> Meow. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I right, mate, as, as far as we've seen, it's just big. Like a big horse. 
Oh, so there's a cat. Well, fair enough. I guess we'll send that one to the auction house or the slaughterhouse. <laughs> it's got a very annoying voice. I go with the fucking slaughterhouse myself. <laughs> yeah, what was it? So it just makes a meow sound. <laughs> no, no, it's like meow. I start it's really irritating. <laughs> Like, like, he, he draws his sword and holds it right at the tip of your throat. Down, down. Do you continue snarling? I just heavy thump on the floor. <laughs> he gets out his water bottle. Spritz heavy the thump face. on the floor, your Nicholas. With like, the sword I, I sell my directly. I, uh... bene- All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Don't don't neck plant a a, a sword. <laughs> right here, right here. Just that's just right where here. it was, and he. I just walk forwards into the blade. This is like. Uh, you said you. Just... <laughs> it's fair enough. It's fair enough. Your mind's eye. I, I love you, man. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh yeah no you you sit on your haunches ah there's a good cat he sheaths his sword. Can I try and look at this man cutely while pouring at my collar? Well, <laughs> he uh, he looks at you, uh, a face of sympathy overcoming him for for just one moment. I've always been more of a dog man myself. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, slight bri- bristling from Jomo at that one. <laughs> All right, well, ladies and gents, I'm very uh, sad to inform you that you have been found guilty of the crime of treason against the Medic Empire. You uh, have all been found consorting with Ulfric Stormcloak. Uh, Ooh! Note it, uh, that lad over there. He jerks his thumb at the noble. Uh, <laughs> I ain't consorted with him. I That's Ulfric Stormcloak. That's, yeah, no, that is Ulfric Stormcloak. Who oh was Ulfric God. Stormcloak again? You're from Markarth, remember. You know who Ulfric Stormcloak is. I'm from Dawnstar. Oh, sorry. I stand correct. Yeah, we sort of met up. We'll, we'll go with that. Fair, then you have no idea who Ulfric Stormcloak is. I do. Oh, wait, no. Law test is a thing. Yeah, I'll take a law test, please. Uh, you know who Ulfric Stormcloak is automatically, Callum. Uh, famously, he all but butchered uh, Markarth, as I recall. Uh- I don't actually have law nor oh yeah no I no, do. No, it's just it's just law general. I uh, I am. Uh, I, Sorry, Creed, could you roll up on me quickly? Um, oh, let me just check that. Cool. Young Brick Paul uh, is like muttered something fascinating. The above grounders have started naming themselves. Oh, hang on, I've got it. Uh, law. <laughs> I should probably Boy. check when the whole mark thing went right? down. Don't know. Yeah, that's really a good, uh, good call. Uh, yeah, I would think it's intelligence. Okay. Uh, that is a success by two degrees. I does that mean I know who he is or? Yeah, no, you you've heard of him. Uh, so you're from the Pale, if I remember. I say remember my geography. If I can look at my geography on the map correctly. Yes, but take a look at him. Uh, so he's he's the Jarl of the the next. Um, God, what are they called? He's the next holdover. Hold, thank you. The next holdover, yeah. So you've heard of him. He's he's noted for uh, his battle prowess, his somewhat extreme views, uh, and you swear there'd been some recent shenanigans? Like he lost an election or something? I don't know. I was too busy at the time. The, uh, the... Imperial Guardsman looks at you with sad, sad eyes. Well, I'm sorry to say, friend, that the Imperial Legion doesn't believe you. And whilst I might, uh, he gestures over at his boss, who's tapping her foot rather angrily. We collectively do not. So your life is forfeit, but it will at least be quite clean. It'll be clean to just, you know, let us go. I wouldn't have to do any tidying up. I, I do agree, but sadly... So let us go. Not we don't know with a bloody hell. I've never met the man, and quite frankly, I was doing very well in the selling a line into Emma Artifacts the other day. You were what? That is a very good point, actually. He gestures to his boss. Huh. Do we really believe that the elf was on Ulfric's side? She rolls her eyes at him. Ulfric may be a great man, but, you know, we're, we're not with him. 
I barely ever heard of <laughs> just <laughs> holds one arm at the Khajiit. He's clearly got weird appeal. Just bring the lock to the block. God damn it! And then stop off. Right, God damn it, Revere! I think you mean Talos, damn it. Uh, sure as balls, Revere! Uh, I think you don't mean Talos, damn it. Oh yeah, you're not pro Stormglow. Oh, this is a strange I relationship with Josh. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you tell me that you're not affiliated with him. You clearly know this lad. This lad is, is a Talos. With a in, in character, I think you mean Talos, damn it. <laughs> Mate, at this point, I just give fucking money and lip service to any guard that will take it. I don't think blasphemy is really going to help you out here, mate. I'm not sure who you think you're convincing. Well, at this point, what the bloody hell's my other options? Uh, he gestures at the guy who got shot by the arrows. Well, that, really. <laughs> he gives a distant scream and burble of pain. I wouldn't recommend it, if I'm honest. Quite frankly, I've been shot with arrows before. It's not a pleasant experience. No, it's not. Fucking, fucking Draugr. Look, mate, I didn't ask for your life story. It's about to become incredibly irrelevant. You, you very much did when you asked me if I was somehow involved in the Stormcloak Rebellion. And I, I tell you, I've been selling Dwemer artifacts to Bloomin' Dunmer. I didn't ask you anything. I said you were involved in the Stormcloak Rebellion. And in fact, I'm not even accusing you. I'm repeating an accusation made by my superiors. Well, go back and tell them they're wrong. Angry yell of the guard's name. And now you've got me in trouble. I hope, you, I hope you're happy with yourself. You've ruined both of our days. Well, quite frankly, I am happy with myself. Because you say that you're in trouble, but you're saying to me I'm going to get my head lopped off. He, he, he gives you a dismissive hand wave gesture and begins wandering off muttering, I don't know, some people... I feel like this is what like a pub in the West Country must sound like. Yes. After about six pints. Absolutely. Yeah, pretty much. Don't pretty much. After six pints. It's a pub in the West Country. Someone <laughs> has had six pints. Feckin' <laughs> legionnaires. Honestly, if it wasn't for the bloody good trade in artifacts, I'd never do business with those bloody people. One by one, you're, uh, you're led out of the cart and into a, a sort of standing set of serried ranks, prepared before a block. In front of you stands a man in a rather resplendent Imperial Legionnaire's uniform. Who he is might be someone interesting, but I don't think any of you are necessarily interested. And, uh... He begins having a blazing argument with uh, Ulfric Stormcloak, with the noble from the cart behind you, whose mouth is still wrapped in a cloth. In fact, as I don't think I mentioned it, whose mouth is wrapped in a cloth. A bloke's mouth all tied up. You're, uh stuck in the, the ranks of the prisoners at the moment, I'm afraid, so you, you... Can we not see? Oh, you can see, but you don't have anyone to speak to other than the rest of the prisoners. Yeah, that's what I was asking. I was just sort of asking oh, if right. anyone else knew. That's fair. Well, you... Revere, any ideas? Uh, Revere, you can make a fairly educated guess. Uh, Markarth, I believe, happened... What? 30 like, years ago. 30? Yeah. Jesus. Wait, how old is Ulfric Stormcloak at this point? I was just trying, I was just looking this up, actually. 60s, it would have to be. Yeah, yeah. like, that's the end. <laughs> Ulfric in the prime of his Jesus. life, in his 60s. Yeah, he, might, he must be in it, I'd say he's in his 50s, maybe. Unless he's in like, his early 20s and he's 50 now? No, because he's, so, he's 10 when he's given to the Greybeards, he's with them for 10 years, then he comes out, so even if he immediately okay. went off to the, the Reach to slaughter Bre um... Okay, so tw 25 years ago. 25 years ago, okay, so... so even you, then. You would have heard the... T yeah, definitely, alright, so he's looking remarkably good for his age. <laughs> Ulf, okay. For, it's, for reference, my character is 25. <laughs> it's Ulfric Stormcloak as played by Patrick Stewart. I think I wrote Angrim to be about 50-ish. So He's fairly old. Regardless, Revere, you would still know the stories of uh, Ulfric's slaughter at uh, Markarth. Uh, and his use of the voice was... Assuming I'm remembering my law correctly, uh, extensive. He was shouting the place down. So, you... from what my parents tell me, he was amazing. <laughs> Wait. A bit controversial. 
and uh, if we can if we can get that gag off him, Arnulf looks at you presumably somewhat confused, <laughs> still lacking all context as Revere is lost in a fantasy land, floating out of here on a cloud of pure fuss, accompanied by Ulfric Stormcloak, hero of fan girling silently over Ulfric. <laughs> The argument f uh, finishes, and the high-ranking Imperial Legionnaire trots off to watch the execution from a short distance. One of the uh, Nords in front of you is brought forward. They're wearing a, a blue uniform that you notice is actually quite prevalent on everyone apart from you and that one guy who got shot. Chick test to determine whether or not this is some kind of uniform that denotes Stormcloaks. Uh, sure, I I'll do take, have logic trained. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll take a law test. It, you can de determine that it's a uniform, but I think it would be a like a general knowledge. Oh, that is many degrees of success. <laughs> and by many, I mean three. We're going to use all the good Oi! I'd like to shout out to the bloke who was processing us. Oi! Any idea why we're not wearing the Stormcloak uniform? You know, we're wearing archaeologist clothes. Because they wouldn't let me in. He gives you a, quiet, Revere. He, he gives you a, 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 a rather quiet. remorseful stare back. You can see his superior drilling, uh, drilling, staring daggers into his back. Maybe because you're spies. The bloody yeah. spy would we have with an art Nord who doesn't bloody know anything about Skyrim and a fucking Khajiit? We kind of stand out. The high-ranking Imperial official m has somewhat stealthily marched into the ranks of the prisoners and by the time you register his presence he's <laughs> backhanding you right in the face damn traitors <laughs> what me you'll go to the block along with your leader now, leader of what last thing I, last time i checked it was some emperor bloke down in the white gold tower your lies get you nowhere nordling now hush, or I'll have you executed first. I mean, get on with it! The closer, quicker I get the bloody shore as all and away from this idiot, the better! I start <laughs> shuffling back slightly away from <laughs> Yeah, all of the prisoners kind of shuffle very slightly <laughs> away from <you. laughs> The guy who was getting brought up, who's been kind of awkwardly held there by the executioner, is looking at you dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> this does confirm it. They are a bit dim up here. <laughs> the Imperial oh. Legion have been drinking the bloody lead war! <laughs> Roll toughness. Oh, wait, do we have that? What's endurance. The... Endurance. Roll endurance. <laughs> that is. Ah, oh, just a fail. Yeah, no, you're taking a, a breath in to continue your terrain when the high-ranking Imperial official gut-punches you right in the belly and you just gently fold, wheezing. Right in the old rib injury! Oh. Right. We're doing him second. <clears throat> Get on with it! He marches back out. The, uh... The guy at the front stares angrily at the executioner, the executioner stares blankly back, and nearby a priest of the now eight divines starts droning on the last rites. The Nord interrupts, telling her that he's just wanting to get on with it, is pushed down to the block, looks up at the executioner. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Can you say the same? And off goes his head. This one liked him. In the distance, there's a scream. No, no. No, no. For a moment, everyone just kind of stops. Tullius waves. Get the spy. We're doing him next. It's just the trolls. Like no trolls I've ever heard, you twat! <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, the Nordic <laughs> soldier from before comes up to you and is kind of picking you up from the ground, trying not to be too rough. 
look, listen, mate, I, I'd karma <laughs> if I were you. You do realise that they don't have to kill you in one shot, right? They can miss. <laughs> They're already going to bloody cut me head off. Yeah, but they don't In have one to whack or two, it don't matter. I'm still going to shore as all. They, they don't have to start with the head, you know. <laughs> the end result's the bloody <laughs> same. Get on with block. it. There's a smaller chopping block next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll go to Svongard and all he'll remember is he got back shattered by a Nord and he couldn't do nothing about it. I think he's won the argument if I'm honest with you mate, he says as he marches you up. You are in fact he? about to die. That's <laughs> kind of the ultimate argument winner as, per our usual culture. With that, Depends he, how one looks at it. Kind of, well I mean one would require eyes to look and you're about to be la oh my god you're the most irritating person I've ever had the displeasure to execute you say you ever been to Dornstar? no I fucking never intend to go if there's more of you you bastard oh, I'm sorry I know up. it's mean to be rude to someone in their last moments but the imperial nearby what on oh. earth do you think you're doing oh fuck off grasshopper we're having an argument over here and with that, he steps forwards. My name is General Tullius, you dick! And sort of, not quite a flying kick, but brings his leg up and in a straight roundhouse just whacks you right in the back of the head, sending you face forwards into the block. Your nose instantly smashing to a pulp. Hey, take your being beaten and... Lick it elf ass with you, you twat. Is <laughs> you talking uh, while they chop his head Everyone off? else's perspective, that is... <laughs> as he speaks through his own smashed nose and the ringing headache in the back of his skull. Oh no, stop! <laughs> Take right, the what cats! They now? <laughs> Take the what? Take the cats! Till he has step back. <laughs> Tullius, Tullius turns to the executioner. Make it slow. Not too slow, we've got a lot to get through, and I kind of want to see that house cat's head fly off, but... <laughs> just just start the axe really, really low down. <laughs> Do a gentle soaring motion. Like, a, like an inch away from his head, just start there. All right, settle down. No suggestions from the, from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. He turns to the uh, with the voice box. Give, give him a couple of whacks with the blunt end first, actually. And so the executioner, with the blunt side of his glaive, just starts laying in to the back of a presumably furiously swearing Arnolf. Alright, just to screw with him, what happens if I, if I foose downwards? Towards the crowd, do I just fire off into the air? I think we need to establish <laughs> rocket boost right now. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, you, <laughs> if you foose downwards, uh, as he you decapitate down, yourself. Yeah. All that's going to happen is he's just going to spike you back into the block. <laughs> you would. No, I mean, you when would I feel him go back for another swing. This is like yeah, how exactly you would functionally curb stomp yourself. No, like he's go up for, he goes up for a swing. I fly upwards while he's coming down. I'm, I'm just going to say... That's, that's what happens. Yeah. Did he just bounce? Like, this that's... is the same as Nick walking into a sword and asking to be stabbed in the neck, except you're doing it with even less effort. All right, fine, I won't. Like, it's, it's not going to work for you, basically. There's Rocket power decapitation. Another distant scream. <laughs> this time a bit closer, this time a bit less human. All around you, Imperial soldiers look this way and that. Tullius eyes the horizon, and then Ulfric. Make the black. Uh, switch to the sharp end, we don't have time for this. The executioner nods, pulls back his uh, glaive for a blow. Oh, everyone's webcam's gone. Yeah, I think Rob yeah, I'm, I'm trying to read this. Pulls back his glaive for a blow. I've got everyone but young Nicholas. Ah, there it is. And then there is an almighty crash from the castle behind you. The executioner staggers and a roar splits the town. 
for the rest of you watching, not for Arnolf, because he's currently floating in a soap, uh, in a soap, in a soup made mostly of his own teeth. You, uh, you see a nightmarish figure hove into view, like a great black lizard clutching the top of the castle, looking for all the world like an oversized nightmarish terror pin. <laughs> terror pin. Well, I think I could successfully silence it if I gave it a go. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go in like, the art, the the, in, the incarnation of the end of the world versus one catty boy who would win. I don't fancy your chances, but you can try. Has his teeth and his claws. I mean, if you Did you just it. do the goddamn Thomas the Tank Engine? Why do you think I've been saying yes. Newt this uh, entire time? Newt, Newt is what Pingu says. Yeah, but it's also what the train sounds like. I'm just saying. My best recollection of that video. That's... Never mind. I run. Like, uh, are my ankles chained as well? Like, oh, well, we got... your ankles are currently chained, all of you. Like, not together at least. Like, I can waddle, right? You can waddle. There's a moment where almost every Imperial soldier looks up, all of the prisoners look up, the giant beast looks down. You hear this a just tiny, made my bad day worse. You hear a tiny voice behind you mutter Got something. Worse. The the voice of the, the Nordic legionnaire from before. Oh bugger. <laughs> <laughs> and waddle, then, waddle, waddle. An ear splitting shout <laughs> bursts into you. A titanic amount of force staggering you in all directions. Legionnaires closer to the blast go flying. The executioner is sent <laughs> hurling forwards where he is immediately sliced in two on his own glaive. Oh, I see that bit. You're sort of just about levering yourself out of the chopping block, so yeah, you see through one squinty Fucking twat. eye. The magic doesn't let up, the thunderstorm doesn't stop. Great, gra uh, great gouts of fire, bursts of pure force, lightning bolts hurling from the mouth of this thing. All hell breaks loose, and, per his reserved action, Joe Mohassa begins waddling somewhere. <laughs> I have to do the terror tango. Yeah. Terror tango. <laughs> okay, you uh oh, you God. all have an opportunity to make a break for it. There is your brains now process what is very clearly a an extremely large dragon, a species which has been reputedly extinct in Tamriel for some hundreds of years at this point. Uh perched atop the castle annihilating the entire town. What do? Um, Are we on hill? This, I'm off! I look up at Cole's character and go, Meow! Pat my neck and <laughs> clap. <laughs> um. <laughs> Although, actually, as a Me. question, uh, are any other Imperial f functionaries in a similarly disabled position as the guy who got, his got himself cut open on his own glaive? Uh, yeah, there's a, a small number of them. Like, a, a huge amount of people were sent flying. Many of them, you can see, are still alive, but, like, their spines are cracked where they've been hurled into walls. Uh, uh, that functionary guy who was arguing with me, is he still upright or has he been hurt? He was at the back. He's uh, he's still upright. Damn, I wanted to put the boot in. <laughs> not bother about the dragon. I would <laughs> the like dragon not the dragon, not the Imperials who ordered your execution. <laughs> the one guy whose job was take you off the cart. <laughs> I don't take no back sass from nobody. I'm coming for you. Then I'm going for your boss. I turn around. Ulfric, save me! <laughs> Ulfric, Ulfric is actually legging it. You can see his waddle is the most powerful of them all. <laughs> Feck it, I'm with Raven. Ravir, let's get out of here. I'm still chained up, aren't I? Uh, can I announce to all within 300 meters? Um, Zanzarim's are here. Feels now is an appropriate time to be unchained. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Alduin turns to the tiny cat. <laughs> <laughs> At the top of the tower, 
Alduin turns to the tiny cat. Meow. I want a harder. There's a colossal fuss. Uh, Can I? Uh, directed directly at Joe Mohassa. I will oh. take. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a poor layout. Uh, I will take an edge test from Joe at a minus 20, and an edge test from uh, <laughs> Zanzarim at minus 40. Does this count as an evasion? No. You can't evade this. This is you keeping your footing. Alright. Fuckers. What was my minus? Minus 40. The shout. Minus 40. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I know I can't. Uh, oh, I'm lucky enough right? it's auto successes. Uh, yes. yeah, I believe so. Mine was 20, right? Yeah, minus 20. Okay. Minus 40, come on, make it a minus 30, go on. All's fair. I'm a <sighs> nosy cat. You're a small cat in the middle of, by definition, <laughs> the most powerful shouter in existence. <laughs> Fuck you, fuss blast. No. Uh, so... Oh, I just, um... Uh, oh, sorry, Carl. I, I have uh, since I bought all the alteration spells, I can cast open. So we can get to that in just a second, because for a moment it looks like Zanzarim is going to manage to keep his footing, uh, clawed in to Jomo's uh, front, presumably. But then <laughs> the blast sends him flying. Jomo, likewise, skidding straight backwards tumbling through the air, the only thing keeping Zanzarim from being yeeted against the wall and instantly splattered is the fact that he is currently still tethered to Jomo. The two of you tumble into a sack, uh, into a sack, into a, a sort of hay bale situation, which is a significantly less soft uh, landing than any book you've ever read has ever led you to believe. <laughs> but you do not at least break any bones. What are we doing, uh, Arnulf, Revere, and uh, Yunbrick? Waddling are after Ulfric. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to cast open on my on myself. How close am I to the Imperials who are also making a run for it? Uh, they're not all making a run for it yet. Actually, it is. Uh, that's final. Your things are. Your hands are bound, so it's alteration at minus twenty. Um, oh, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, Right. So uh, a fair amount of them are still trying to fight back at this point. They're like plinging arrows ineffectually at the uh, at, at the dragon. There's more than a few who are charging into the castle, presumably with intent to get back up to the roof and stab at it. Their resistance is crumbling significantly. Uh, Tullius actually is rallying a number of troops nearby and looking to go straight after Ulfric. How close is he? Tullius is not far at all. He's like maybe 20 meters surrounded by a dozen or so uh, legionnaires that he's scrounged up. Can I attempt to shout and knock him over? <laughs> oh, Frick turns around, but that's my trick. Well, technically he's got a better trick than me. Your dragon turns around. Okay. <laughs> that's my trick. Uh, I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a speedy lore check, please. I can do it too. <laughs> With Kampu. Uh, yeah. yeah, speedy law check, please, Benji. Is that uh, anything, or...? Uh, I'll give you a plus ten. Ah, oh, with plus ten I make that. Uh, yes, so you definitely can have a bash at it. I don't know where the food rules are. We can take a look. Uh, the only thing that I will say is you are, despite your grave robbing appearance, an archaeologist. <laughs> and are thus somewhat aware that the dragon may have an adverse reaction to seeing you manifest the Thun. Alduin thinks he's being challenged by a fucking archaeologist. Yeah. Well, he <laughs> might think he's being challenged, he might think you're a stray cultist, he might think you're a greybeard, which would mean you're in service to a traitor, though you don't know that, uh, or he might <laughs> think you're the dragonborn. Or he... <laughs> Dragon bastard. In in any case, th there is a decent chance it would make you the priority target. You about to get eaten. He's not done it yet. He passed his law roll. He can still do it if he wants to. Uh, that's why I'm saying he's about to get eaten, knowing Benji. <laughs> he, 
he has put petty spite above personal survival on far too many occasions. <laughs> right. Uh, what are we doing, Benji? Do you I, won't, I won't pick? shout him over. That's yeah. It's fine. Not many people want to try and out petty a dragon. I mean, I've done it before. Especially petty. <clears throat> so yeah, Tullius locks eyes with you as you pull yourself off the block. He shakes his head and then, with his soldiers, goes charging after Ulfric, who has actually already made it to a horse and is yeah kicking himself into. Uh, uh, into a high drive. Revere, uh, well, actually, as you look up, you can see that Revere is is waddling after Ulfric at his fastest pace. But... Join uh, you! Ulfric <laughs> ignores you and is gone to the winds. Uh, I don't think I made that. Just barely, though. It's not an unlucky oh, number, is it? Um, nope. 99 is my unlucky number. It's one of my lucky numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. You, uh... Focus your, uh, focus your will. Uh, speak a few words of power. Try to make the motions with your hands. But you're... Having trouble standing up with all the fusses getting tossed left, right, and center, and at this point there's more than a little bit of blood, and I don't think you've seen much, if any, combat. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of horrifying. And yeah, my combat style is Dwemer Engineer. It is. I am not used to combat. Things with a wrench. It is literally that's what I've got written down. I my my magic item is just a maul that is a wrench with Dwemer Tech on it. <laughs> That acts as wrench. Okay. Party as a whole, what are we doing? We have Arnold, uh, not Arnold, we have uh, Yunbrick trying to unlock himself, but he's he's kind of stuck. Uh, uh, we have Jomo and Zanzarim lodged in, sort of, not quite inside, but halfway inside a hay bale, taking a fair amount of hurt for it. Uh, and Arnulf has just about pulled himself out of the block. Revere has waddled after Ulfric, uh, which actually leaves Catclop. Don't bar. How are you doing, Catclop? Uh, am I just changing around the neck as well, or am I... Uh, you are currently still... Oh no, they unchanged you from the cart, so you're not chained to the cart. So I'm pretty free to move around as I like, right? Uh, your feet are still somewhat chained up. Okay. Um, I'll still go over to um, my other two Khajiit friends, <laughs> colleagues, masters, masters. <laughs> companions. Companions, there we go, thank you. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll offer, uh, like, get on, let's get. Actually, no, I'll tell them because they can actually understand me. Get on, let's get out of here. Yeah. Thank you, Doe. Let's go. Just kind of like, flop myself over his back. I'd appreciate it if you could undo my manacles as well. Um, like, what what kind of deal are we talking here? Like, so is it just... his manacles are chains, so they're like uh, manacle locked around each ankle with crossed chains in the middle. So he can manage a reasonable walking pace, but he couldn't lift a hand up to strike without doing weird acrobatics, and he'd struggle to run without tripping up. Bad news here, friendo. Uh... <clears throat> I don't have the magicka. Sorry. <laughs> a huge chunk is blasted out of one of the walls directly over you. Like a wave of pure force just <laughs> sending it flying. Something tells me it's time for the warrior's waddle and we should skedaddle. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of there with them on the back. <laughs> you can see over at the stables that most of the soldiers uh, with Tullius have procured horses and are chasing after Ulfric. Tullius, having got there last and, and being uh, supervising people, looks around angrily. What's there's got to be? Aha! He jumps atop a horse, to which is lashed a cart. 
I jump on the cart. That's a little ways across the... In fact, it's across the town square. How far? Quite a way. 30 meters. Does this... Oh, Does this cart look familiar in any manner? It is your cart. Mm. And in fact, it's... it's uh... <laughs> Now, boys, I could try and paralyze the horse. But I don't know where we go from there. <laughs> We unhitch the horse and then rehitch. Uh, <laughs> <that club. laughs> A nearby townhouse bursts into flames, uh, and Tullius begins, yeah, yeah, really beating the shit out of the horse, uh, trying to whip it into a, a riding frenzy as it takes off down the path. Your cart careening alongside with it, and in actual fact. As uh, Arnulf and Yunbrick <laughs> and Revere pat themselves down, you feel a little bit light. Did a moment of realization, a flash of memory on most of your behalves. At least some of your items have been put in that cart. Ah. My scrolls! Jared. Shovel! My flutes! I turn to the rest of them. I'll have you know, my stuff is far more important than yours. My scrolls! <laughs> you're, you're still stood where you were. The only prisoner still in, in, in line where the ranks were. Just desperately <laughs> trying to stay up. Making classist points at the people nearby. Uh, can I the women are smart, <laughs> but they do not have much in the way of wisdom, perhaps. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Uh, what was that, Nicholas? I'm going to try to run after it and jump onto the cart. <laughs> You're absolutely not going to be able to make it with your legs chained up like this. Okay. Uh, Considering the car's laden, is it leaving tracks? Uh, absolutely, yes. You can see it's uh, going down the Northwood Mountain Pass. Uh, for basic knowledge of geography in Skyrim, which I would assume all of you have except maybe the Duema, uh, that's, that's leading to the centre, basically. It's Probably heading vaguely in the direction of White Run. I, I vote we follow it. Mm. Well, so I'm assuming uh, you two are on my back, so I'll go because I'm actually faster normally anyway. So I just look at, have a quick look, see if there's any Legionnaire corpses nearby. I might have keys. Yeah. Hmm. Or maybe if we walk into one of the random towers or buildings, a nice man will walk up to us and... <laughs> and under <laughs> <our> charges. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably worth searching a corpse too as well. Okay, uh, so are you staying outside with the... Uh, in fact, as you're staying outside with the dragon, uh, a huge bout of lightning scores the ground uh, between most of you. <laughs> A nearby corpse detonates as the lightning hits it, spraying gore and bones all over the lot of you. Ow. Again, licking myself clean. <laughs> gotta lick clean, gotta lick clean, never quite clean. Uh, what do? Someone wanted to investigate a corpse out in the war zone. Uh, can I grab a corpse in my teeth? And drag it into a building? Yeah, I would say so. You've still got your strength. Uh, there's a fair few to choose from, so you just go for whichever one's nearest, presumably. I will take an athletics check, please, young Nicholas. Okay. Uh, oh, I have that as well. Uh, plus 10. Yay. I believe you can do this. <coughs> Oh yeah, uh, that's for th three degrees. Let me just Four note degrees? down your alternate name here because I'm gonna forget it otherwise. Because <laughs> um, because of strength, isn't it? Yes. So for the plus ten, that's sixty. So yeah, four degrees of success. Yeah, no, okay. So as the uh, six of you are making awkward eye contact, several of you going, well, "That cart's got my stuff," and the rest of you going, "Well, that's my cart." Uh, Doklop 
process is what's going to have to happen. He grabs the nearest corpse he can see with a ring of keys on uh, around the waist and drags it into a nearby building. It's actually quite impressive. The giant horse tiger thing takes a huge bite into the torso and hauls it in in several admittedly chained leaps, but they're going quite fast considering the rampant elemental forces flying around the courtyard. What's everyone else doing? We're running, aren't we? Where to? Yeah, I'm trying to run out of town. Yeah, with Ulfric. Ulfric is, oh, is long gone at this point. Yeah, we're going after him, though. We can still chase him down the road. I mean, again, Ulfric is long gone. You have been outpaced by... Uh, you have been outpaced... Uh, okay, sure. So There's still a road there. You're, yeah, no, that's fine. You're chasing after Ulfric as he careens down the road with a few isolated Stormcloaks going along with him, uh, only to be rapidly overtaken by a number of Imperials, screaming obscenities at you as they go past, riding hard after Ulfric. And then... a cart, which as earlier you all recognize, <laughs> has some of your items in it. In fact, you can see your shovel and your flute sticking out the back of it, crudely okay, wedged so in is, there. Is the cart alone, or does it have, like, Imperials surrounding it? it like, is the, is the cart far enough back around the Imperials? Uh, it's, like, right at the back of the sort of stampede of Imperials. You might be able to get a skill shot off at it. It's so I'd say, can I foose the cart? I don't know how powerful foose is, but I don't think it's going to stop a fully... Uh... It, it's a stun action, so I could probably stun whatever's pulling it. Yeah, that's just going to result in you getting hit by a cart going at speed, which I'm fine with, but that's not necessarily going to end well for you. I mean... I, I presume I would move out of the way of the cart. Difficult for it. That's like saying I'll dodge the car after I stun the driver. Yeah, but at the moment, it's all it sounds like is we're going to be in the road just watching. Ooh, that cart's approaching. I think it's going to run me over. Shit, isn't it? No, it's... Uh... It really is. Shame we went to the Prometheus school of running away from things and just standing here watching our doom approach. It's more of a oh, Lion no. King. It's more of a Lion King situation. Uh, it's like a, a stampede of horses all around you and at the very end is a cart. So uh, why are we not getting out of the way of the car-looking horses, then? Well, apparently, because you were chasing after Alfred Stormcloak. Sorry, I'm trying to find where Fusrodar is in the, uh... It's, hot. it's near the end. It's because it's, it's not done by... Oh, yeah, it's unrelenting. Dragon course, words. It's, it's done by, um... Oh, yeah. Name. Oh, so I scrolled past it. Uh, I have the rules in my uh, character sheet mm. for Fus. Because I only need Fus. <laughs> I stun all targets within a 15 degree cone up to 25 meters uh, in front of them for one round. Counts as a ranged area of effect attack for the purposes of agility tests. Uh, okay, sure. <clears throat> you can attack General Tullius of the Imperial Legion. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, you... As the horses uh, stampede after you, grab Revere and dodge to the side of the road, letting them swear at you as they run past. Ulfric's clearly long gone, but you see the cart coming up. And you see your shovel and your flute. Fucking shovel. The bastard. Right, I'll do something about this, Revere. This, okay, for backstory, because I'm happy if you do know I can do it. Callum, do you know I can use the thing? I say no. I'm going to say that we're, um, we've been working together a bit, but not long. Okay. <laughs> not something you just <laughs> whip gonna, out. This is going to be a shock. <laughs> I'm a greybeard, Harry. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Don't stick right, your okay, dick in the dragon. So... I did that once. <laughs> it was a bad idea. <laughs> Right, I, I have this effect. trained okay, to so plus it's... 20, so it's a wisdom at plus 20. Bollocks. Uh, is there a possibility to re-roll that? I don't With know if something... they have re-rolls in this system. Sending oh. luck. Uh, yeah, Stands there and goes, <gasps> uh, Is it a lucky number? No, it's not a lucky number. No, I think you like you burn pounds spend... for re-rolls. Um, spend one. Well, I did have it, yeah, you can spend and burn if you don't have any left. Bollocks. Um, I don't think you can actually luck a luck roll either. Can I, oh, no, it's only no. once. <laughs> <laughs> Feck. 
<laughs> I still go off and I just get thrown backwards. Yeah, yeah. So as Callum said then, you I mean, to be fair, it probably wouldn't have ended well for you anyway. <laughs> it's like the third, arguably second killiest thing in the mountain range after Alduin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, it's Not when he's getting shanked by my punch cat, you ain't. Yeah, yeah, no, explicitly when he's getting shanked by your punch cat, because he is General Tullius of the Imperial Legion. I'm punched by your shank cat. I don't subscribe to your reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you do. I am the GM. Also, yeah. isn't that like the entire shtick of the law? That you are subscribing to someone else's reality? Yeah, also that, actually. Quiet, you. I am the godhead. <laughs> Oh, uh, I knew we shouldn't have let Ollie read you ASP. <laughs> right. Okay. In any uh, case, yeah. So you, you, you do as as Callum said. You, you sort of go stand back. <clears throat> right. Oh, yeah. Give us the reenactment. Let's hear it. Right. Stand back. I got this. You have to knacker it twice. <laughs> right. Foos. No, hang on. That's not it. What's the bloody accent again? I knew I got this wrong. Right. Right, me Foos. Let's <laughs> go <laughs> flying backwards. You see, the fist stopped, and then you went back. You projected it forwards, <laughs> not you backwards. Shit. <laughs> no, wait, that was that was Dwemeris. <laughs> yeah, you, you sort of teeter and then pff, skid backwards on the spot. Uh, spend a point of stamina for the attempt, I believe. Uh, yes, it, I do indeed. How do you... Can you regenerate luck, or is it it's gone, for, gone forever? I think it's uh, the start of each session, I think. Okay. Um, Wait, is there a luck points thing that I'm not aware of? Yeah, yeah, I've there got, is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, luck maps. load of... Um, quick question. Can I use... Is the, is the cart tied to the horse with, like, a lock or some sort of pin? Well, I mean, at this point, it's it's out and away down the path, I'm afraid. Ah. But you wouldn't know regardless. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, cool. So... That's what's Correct. happening. That's what's happening with the Nords. Meanwhile, back up at the burning town, covered in lightning, fire, dead Imperials, live Imperials, screaming Imperials, and a fair number of disturbed or fleeing town folk. What's happening with the Khajiits and the Mur? We have one Khajiit who's hauled themselves to safety inside a building. The rest of you? We, we were on his back. Yeah, they're on the back. He's so still I... on... all right, fair. Uh, so. <laughs> Alright, so in that case, uh, Yunbrick Ulka, you are the only living thing stood in the town centre of, of Helgen. The rest of the town is on fire. There are Imperial Legionnaires on the top of the castle, giving the dragon what for? And being resoundingly eaten or flicked into distant mountain ranges, you see one go flying and you swear he ends with a twinkle. <laughs> Off again. This is why I don't go upstairs. What to do? You were trying to go to space. <laughs> <laughs> That's inside a thing I've made. He's trying I mean, to get in the attic and not go I to the park. What to do? I would like to check the keys to try and unlock my lord. All right, let's. I just want to hear because Ollie's been stood in the same place for at this point like six minutes of utter devastation. So I <laughs> feel we should give him a chance to move. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Just, I've, you know, what, I'm gonna try and cast uh, open again on my on my on my little leg manacles. You know, you can waddle, right? I know, I know, I can. I just wanted to get. I wanna, I wanna open it anyway. I prefer running to waddling. Okay. I have a dragon behind. You, you well, no, you have a dragon directly in front of you, and the second he's done eating the Imperials, you're. Well, the I'm, I'm running. That, that's I'm waddling fine. away. I'm waddling away, but I am going to try and cast open if I go, well, damn well can. Alteration at a minus two. Where are you waddling to, Ollie? I'm waddling out the front gates. <laughs> okay, so after the stampede of horses and such. Fair. Yeah. Christ, split the party. Uh, <laughs> cool. I will take alteration at a minus 20 because your hands are bound. Wow, I am not rolling well with this day. That is none of my unlucky numbers, so it's just a fail. Yeah, no, you're you're trying, but again, your concentration's kind of fraggled. And if you're honest, it's bright out here, like really, <laughs> really is. bright. Uh, in which case, yeah, I'm just going to continue. You're um, waddling away, waddle, waddle, waddle away. 
Yeah, you, you continue waddling, and, and you're almost out the town gate when you hear a, a shriek, and in front of you lands the head of an Imperial soldier, just flung. It skids a fair way down the path, leaving a gore-slick trail, before it, just at the end, quietly keels over. This is why I never go outside. This is why I never go outside. Close my eyes, I'm underground. Close my eyes, I'm underground. Don't close my eyes, I'm waddling in chains. You waddle away. Meanwhile, inside that tower, <laughs> Jomo, you sling yourself down off the horse uh, and speedily move to grab the keys from the, uh, the side of the guard. I'll take... What skills have we actually got in this game? Let's take a look. It's quite lengthy. Many skills. Uh, I don't see what lockpick would be. Lockpick? Uh, We've got the keys, don't we? Yeah, it's just keys and just open, right? That's fair. Uh, I'll take... You know what? Yeah, you're 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 calm. You're indoors, and you've only seen a moderate amount of buildings explode so far. So you take the keys and just start slowly working on on unlocking your lord. It takes about a minute, but you eventually find a tiny key that fits the tiny lock, which logically means that this large key next to it must fit the large locks on the cow clock. Wait. Uh, It's a couple of minutes after that before you find your own key, but eventually all of you are free. Where well. is a sudden looming from the darkness? A burly Nord, clad in rags, with a huge blonde beard, steps forward. He's holding the skull of an Imperial soldier in one hand. The skull? The sc well, sorry, the head of an Imperial soldier in one hand. <laughs> He's very he's, fast. He's basically a predator. Uh, no. <laughs> and in the other hand, he's got a colossal two-handed axe gripped high up the haft, uh, held with just the one arm. He is, however, still bound around the legs. You can see that he's managed to twist his hands free. The manacles are still on, but uh, his, he's not restricting his movements there. I need your keys. Ah, yes. Kajit has keys if you don't kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a fair trade to me. Holds the manacles up one at a time. Just I start unlocking him. <laughs> I'm keeping a keen eye on violent looking Nord man. <laughs> uh, keen eye? I'll kill you, Ollie, and they will <laughs> never find your body, because I'll eat the whole damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like puns. <laughs> uh, Zanzarim, as you take in the Nord, every detail is profoundly unsettling. He's a solid couple of meters in height. He's got rippling slabs of muscle, and his rags are at best strategically placed. More than that, you notice that the blood on his arm clearly goes some way up. I've abs. Either that arm has been drenched in something, or that arm has been all but inside another body. Alright. Turn someone into a goddamn puppet. Jomo finishes unlocking him, and he quietly cracks his neck. So, how are you planning on getting out of here? I just look over at him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just hop on top of uh, the Wimbar with uh, my lord. Well, <laughs> I bound out of there. <laughs> just like turn to look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, no, sorry. So cow clock backs up very slightly. He go. The Nord goes into a crouching combat stance, ready for this doubtless pounced attack. And Cowclop kind of kicks the back, uh, the door back open with his legs, and reverses rapidly through and begins bounding out of the town. 
I'd like to uh, spend an endurance point to double my speed as well, please. Yeah, no, you go at a fair lick. The second you're out oh. and and uh, going forwards, you, you zoom. Yeah, and due to me being a quadruped, apparently it triples my uh, run speed when dashing. Okay. And I spend an endurance, then double that. So. <laughs> Just really fast. Just really fast. Yumbrick. You're waddling down the road, waddling, waddling, <laughs> eyes closed, underground, everything's fine, there's not blood on me anywhere, this is all okay, and my magic's working, and I'm not trapped above ground with the savages, when you hear a sudden pounding behind you, four feet moving in a distinctly non-equine uh, way, um, some for colossal animal padding towards you. At incredibly fa at an incredibly fast speed. Fuck! 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 Um, I, I believe for for context, my the normal run speed is uh, or for my character is thirteen. Uh, after tripling and then doubling, I think it's like ninety something. <laughs> Pretty quick. So how Pretty fast did that cart move? <laughs> <laughs> it's pulling a whole cart and all that stuff. The horse is also a quadruped and can also spend stamina. True, but I have a ridiculous amount of strength and endurance. So does a horse. <laughs> it's pulling up. In fact, it's because you're a horse that you do. Exactly. <laughs> you may also note, and I know this is a radical departure, the horse has no thumbs. Surprisingly, this makes it bad at many <laughs> manual tasks. <laughs> wow. Oh dear. Uh, so, do we have fear tests in this game? I wonder if we have fear tests in this game. <laughs> nah. Fear. Um, Here we I go. think there is because I have a brave uh, trait. Okay. Okay. It's willpower tests to resist fear or intimidation. Yeah. So. Okay, so it's not a horror test. It's technically a panic test. Uh, cool. I'll take a willpower test at plus zero, please, Ollie. Uh, yep. Willpower, so straight willpower, 50 on a ronda. Mm -hmm. Oops, no. That's not how you roll that at all. Oh, I made it. You steal yourself. If this is how you are to die, then you will die as all Dwemer do. Regretfully, but safe in the knowledge that you were still smarter than everyone else. <laughs> Turn around, eyes unclenched, ready to face your death. Somewhat irritated and thoroughly terrified, but in control of your emotions. Only to see the large cat from the cart bounding towards you, carrying the medium cat from the cart, and indeed the small cat from the cart. Meep. <laughs> Jomo and uh, Catclop What do? There's a prisoner waddling down the road In fact, as you look, you can see There are a couple of prisoners a little bit further down as well uh, But at the very least, there's the terrified elf who shared your cart Um... I'm really trying to find a reason to stop for these people, but I can all, if you're shouting that as you're running down, I know where the cart went. He said, uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's a very valid point. You, uh, you, you did see where the cart went. Oh well, no, actually, you didn't. But you can lie to them. <laughs> <laughs> On the jeans on there, they're like uh, you was leaving a track behind it anyway. Yes, but I don't know if you've gotten onto that. So uh, <laughs> I tell you what, let's let's do some rolls for uh, see how this goes. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to make Ollie roll just yet. So you're just yelling out that you know that you know where their cart is. I, I thought because it sounded like as Nick was running down, he was shouting. Actually, no, he's, he's a cat, so I can't understand him. A small cat, I can't. I can understand the medium cat. You can and understand I the medium, medium cat. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought the medium cat was shouting, my car, my items. I mean, I was, kind of. So I'm there, like, I'm just shouting, I know where the cart is! I'll take an observe roll from each of the cats. Uh, 
Yes, I'll give you a plus ten. Fighting back some cliffy uh, classes uh, and result uh, uh, words. Fail. Perception. Oh, not very cliffy. Um, what's the minus run train? Minus twenty, I believe. I say. Uh, I think it's minus ten. Minus ten. Yeah. 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 Um, we got a plus really? ten, so. Oh, yeah, it's minus ten in general. Yeah. It's minus, an untrained skill is only rolled at minus ten in this game, rather than minus twenty. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So uh, Doe oh, has good. seen the tracks, and Zan and Joe haven't. So Zan and Joe, you have or oh, Zan Zareem and Joe, you have no idea where you're going. Uh, meanwhile, Cowclop is is just kind of full speed pelting it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trained on an observe as well. I think. I guess we'll see you at the top. <laughs> you you can't actually see the cart at this point. It has long disappeared in front of you. Uh, it's it's. Ooh, if you remember, I, I, ooh, sorry. I thought of a way to get them to pick me up. Uh, if they're listening, I'm gonna shout. My stuff is explosive, and only I know how to disarm it. They, <laughs> they, don't, they, run they don't know your stuff is on the cart, though. If anything, that's, that's kind of threatening. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay! <laughs> oh, I thought they knew my stuff was in the car. In which case, I have nothing. A slight Do we not share a common bonded experience? <laughs> <laughs> I was chained. I still am. You were chained. More, Clearly you're not. More out of desperation than anything else, the elf, the elf resorts to a, an ancient Dwemer custom, which he can only hope the surface, dwell, uh, surface dwellers are familiar with. Signaling rickshaws in the depths of Callum. Do you know what the <laughs> dwarven name for Black Reach is? Dwemer. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. That's it's got some. It, it, it's got some dwarven long name. Okay, Lots so, of Zeds. So, uh, Angs of that? No, that's a different thing. Okay, so dwarven name for Black Reach word. Yeah. Uh, Lots of Zeds. Yes. Uh, the elf quietly raises a hand, sticks out a thumb points it in that direction and makes a money noise a uh, money noise a money gesture with his hand now <laughs> <laughs> like as, um, as, as a stop i just <laughs> like cartoon style <laughs> against all odds the cat skids to a halt coming to a rest maybe 5 meters in front of you I'd just like to turn atop this mighty steed Jeez, has wares if you has coin. <laughs> it is at this point that you spot Yunbrick that uh, that Khajiit, which was manacled, is clearly no longer manacled. Neither are any of them, in fact. And he's still clutching a ring of keys in his hands. Would you? Would you? Would you mind? Like down here, right? Please. Running away in terror is slightly harder when you have, you know... That Zarimza here seems to recall you implying coins. <laughs> <laughs> Goes the message to everything within 300 meters. <laughs> I, uh, Two nords significantly further down the hill look up to see this whole situation with the unlocking. Alduin looks back over at the yeah, cast. In, in the town of Helgen, there is a, a burst of fire and a distant roar of screams. A dragon's head pops out of the gates and looks down uh, and then goes back to destroying the town. <laughs> the dragon briefly considered it. Um, I throw over, I, I don't know how I have the local car. I, I like pull out this, 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 this like, sack of money and I, you know, throw over, like, I count out ten, no idea what this money is, but I throw about, throw out ten. You, you have Dwemer coins, uh, which are silver, I believe. Oh, okay. Yes, they're silver and they have hard angles, but they're, they're still very obviously uh, valuable money. Okay, I throw over like two coins because they're silver, and I assume the silly cats have not to, do not <laughs> to assume that you know one Dwemer coin we're being silver is is far more than their silly imperial money. This is what I said in my character's head. <laughs> I throw over like three silver coins. <laughs> so two Just... coins, and then when that gets you no re uh, response, a third coin. <laughs> 
Um, I, I would like to like do that thing where you just kind of go pss, 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 to confer with my compatriots <laughs> and then look back sternly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pull out one more coin. <laughs> no, this is like no facial expression. Um, I, I'll unlock the hands. <laughs> just that. <laughs> just one though. <laughs> just one. <laughs> I can't be radical. Outside a burning city. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bottom of the hill, Arnulf and Revere. Arnulf, you're looking pretty worse for wear. Your nose is a bloody mess. A fair number of your teeth have come out. And uh, you recently kind of went flying backwards. Yeah, you went flying backwards. Not super dramatically, but a little bit. Uh, And you've just had a a message about coin teleported, teleported, uh, telepathed into your head, causing you to look vaguely up the hill to see that there is transparently someone with a set of keys up there. (laughs) In fact, after a moment squinting, that's the cat from the cart, the big one, which would make the others the little one and the medium cat. <laughs> what to do? Bloody hell. I ain't as young as I was. Ugh, right. I mean, they seem to have keys. We should probably go and have a chat, have a chat and see if we can't get free. Yeah, probably. My legs are burning. So who's this old Frick Stormcloak bloke anyway? Last I heard, he was just some Jarl. Just some Jarl? Why, he's the greatest Jarl to ever live. I mean, I think Wolfarth has that sewn up, or maybe Ysgrimor, but you know. Gah. Details. What was that just now? Well, that. Always something I've been able to do for years. I discovered it when found I could do it when I was younger. Uh, I found a wall. Archaeological marvel it were. Just and the word on it, the word on it. I I read the word on it and suddenly, uh, yeah, I went flying backwards. Do you ever wonder how my how my uh blooming knees got so messed up? I don't wonder uh, now. Exactly. Well, not my knees, but technically it was more more me more me ribs. My knees are messed up because I'm old. Similar. Exactly. Yeah, broke all my ribs when I uh, went flying backwards. Exactly as I just did. Funnily enough. <laughs> and uh, and so the two of you converse as you rock on up to the Khajiit, who are still apparently attempting to extort coinage out of <laughs> out of the lonely elf. Okay. I tell the Khajiit, you're getting that many coins, not one more. Go. She has done business. Good day. <laughs> Wait, <I'm>... no. <laughs> Off again. <laughs> there's, there's two heavily armed Nords in front of you now. Yeah. Good call. Like to pull up beside them, <laughs> brandish keys. <laughs> she has wares if you has coins. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're only like a couple of meters ahead, but sure. <laughs> Leaving the elf stood maybe five behind <laughs> to surround a, a single walk. a single manacle undone. In the distance, the dra- sorry, in the not too distant, the dragon roars. <laughs> I walk over very nonplussed about what just happens. will have my fist in its face in a second. <laughs> uh, I presume this big old kitty cat like would get a nice big old roar going if you tried something. Oh yeah, I I I, I bear my fangs and. <sighs> nice try, kitty. I just stared down a dragon and I didn't shit myself. It's very true. You did not shit yourself. <laughs> no. Wobbled like it, but you didn't actually do it. Yeah, all things considered, we're doing quite well. Yeah. Um, we're very nonplussed. Yeah, technically that should have been a horror oh, okay. test for everyone, but uh, I didn't know the rules existed, so... Ah, uh, yeah. 
Did um, you say we're, we're nearby, or are we not there yet? So you are directly in front of them. You, you've kind of waddled up the path, discussing the history of Ulfric Stormcloak, uh, and in the time you were waddling, there have been further back and forth, the Khajiits trying to get more money per manacle, having extracted a toll of four silver coins in order to unlock a single manacle for these keys they stole off a dead guy. Uh, <clears throat> and, yeah, so the elf just said, no, that you shall unlock me, our business is concluded, whereupon the Khajiit skidded forwards a few metres in order to offer their wares unlocking to you as well. Oh, my little Khajiit's woke up. Hey, guys. And he's going straight back to sleep. What a fuck it. Uh, so, yes, what do? Raise my manacle fists. Coin first. Kid... <laughs> Close his fists. <laughs> well. Coin, but we've got to get the cart back. Khajiit's about to get his head kicked off. <laughs> There's teeth again. <laughs> you are not as scary as the dragon. Distant not stop me by That's the true, but that. I'm closer. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we can outrun you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite easily. That's true, but my friend has a nasty cough. I really do. <laughs> they have no idea what you mean, lacking any context related to that. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much coin? Uh... None at the moment. We haven't got any. We will have some more when we find that bloody cart. Ah, we yes. We'll find I... it until you unlock us. Well, then we shall keep what is on the cart. Right, I'm not quite sure you know how this works. Yeah. This here is Skyrim, and Skyrim is for the Nords, you twat. Actually, on that subject, as the cart rolled on past, uh, various assorted bits and bobs flew out. Mostly nothing particularly important or really worth recovering, but there was a single sheet of paper which has become somewhat entangled in the fur of Revere. Almost as if by instinct, Revere, you kind of lever it off. Just, what is this? Do you actually read? What, me? Yeah. Ah, yeah, I read bits. Yeah. Cool, so as you look down at the sheet of paper which came off the cart, you can see a single word written clearly at the top. Manifest. What to do? I think this is some kind of list. Everyone. What does it say? Uh... You're not the world's fastest reader, but nevertheless, you begin going down the list, item by item. It lists a few things. There's uh, a looted, uh, a looted uh, one recovered musical instrument, uh, one recovered digging implement, one recovered cart, one recovered alchemy set. Is that everyone's... Uh, oh, I, mine was a... Uh, uh... Shuffle. A case of scrolls. Uh, one recovered case of scrolls, and one recovered redacted artifact. Now, everyone had a little bit of an emotional reaction to everything on that list, uh, to the individual items on that list when their own one was uh, when their own one came up. But the artifact produces no reaction from any of you. Even the slightly dim horse is able to work out. <laughs> that that artifact not is not something... Uh, we agreed this before session. You can either be the world's most intelligent horse or one of the world's least intelligent sapient Oh, I animals. see what we need. Okay, And yeah. you chose <laughs> sapient... Uh, you chose dumb person, not smart horse. <laughs> Same thing. No, that's why it was a choice. <laughs> I'm not saying it would have been any better if you were a smart horse. It probably, probably exactly. would have been worse. <laughs> I don't know, I can respect a smart horse. You know, big fish, small pond. There's something in that. Anywho. Wonder horse. <laughs> what Wonder is the horse. secret of your power? But no, you chose dumb man. <laughs> Wonder horse. Right, Nicholas's character things aside. Um, 
it doesn't take a genius to work out that the uh, the artifact belongs to none of you. Yeah, that car back, it's ours now. So yes, like, uh, I will unlock everyone in exchange because like, we are all trying to get the car back. It sounded like there was a but to go on the end of that sentence. But we're keeping everything that's on it. Like, as yeah. in, like, the Akaji Trio. Like, that artifact is ours if we get it. Take the artifact. Just give me the flute. Arnolf and Yonbrick. Let's get the stuff. <laughs> Two most invested in getting anonymous artifact. Alright, okay, so. I, uh, I mean, that could literally be anything. <laughs> not hop my top. Or hop atop with Joe's head. Make a proclamation. La <laughs> What's my name again? Zazarim Sahir feels everybody desires this coach. We will free you on the exception that you assist us in gathering it and allow us at least the artifact. All other items on it shall be up for debate once the cart is found. <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine. My lad! It is only at this point that the <laughs> other three of you who are not used to this twig that it has in fact been the house cat making these announcements the entire time. <laughs> Back it out. I hoped it was the dragon. <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was the immense head beating I got. <laughs> I think I might have quite a severe concussion. Yeah, you almost certainly do. I I I accept your your offer. Now, would you mind freeing me? And could you give me my four silver coins back? Once the deal is made, the deal is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you like to deduct four drakes from your inventory and give uh, and. Uh, Carl, you can add four. Yeah, I've already, I've already redu deducted the four. <laughs> I assume they are a lot of fours. All right. Well, it was nice of nice of Creed to leap to your uh, beneficence, beneficence, beneficence there, or benefit rather. Actually, there we go. That's more accurate. Uh, as <laughs> as stood, fucking the only person who negotiated for their items was Revere for his flute, as Arnulf and Yunbrick just tacitly agreed to give up their scrolls and precious shovel. Oh, mine, oh, mine are the scrolls. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, is, is yeah. that uh, Jomo was saying, yeah, we get to keep everything on the cart, and you went, yes, fine, okay. Allow me to help you get back the scrolls that sorry, I was Sorry, I was, to talking to, I was talking to my missus. What, what's... No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> The, the house cat has bailed you out. I, uh, I was I was looking up a um, character sheet creation, <laughs> and you lost your scrolls. <laughs> Would have been one hell of a like late game plot twist. And uh, and with that, all all six of you, uh, six of you, or the remaining three of you rather, are unlocked. And I think that actually probably gives us a, a fairly natural point to end the first session. Even uh, even a few minutes early, mostly because I still have to figure out how the XP works in this thing. Reminders for next session. Does anyone have anything they want set that they would like to be reminded to do? Stored everyone. <laughs> I the card. Jomo wants to extort everyone. Jomo wants to find the card. Tracks visible in the road. Anything else? Good for me, thank you. I can't think of anything I want to add to that. I'm good. No, that's fair. fine, baby. Yep. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to add Alduin still like 150 meters behind <laughs> the party. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> We almost Do we have Ulfric is very confused about the about the Khajiit? <laughs> Wait, why is Ulfric confused? Confused, a little disgusted, because I, I, I found oh, girl yeah, over him. Yeah, no, uh... Ulfric. Confused, a little disgusted, feels dirty. Disgusted. I don't know, he, he, I know he's a horrible racist. Actually, he, yeah. He might, not want, he might not hate Khajiit, he just doesn't want them ruling Skyrim. Yeah, I was going to say, Ulfric has fairly targeted racism, so I don't think Khajiit are actually on his shit list. 
He doesn't like. Fair enough. He doesn't. Un like uncomfortable, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, he's uncomfortable. Be. Not outright, outright hatred, but I, I do feel like he would be seriously uncomfortable. By the way, I looked up um, his his age, and yeah, he is about early fifties. <laughs> Wait, so he did a Revan. He left the Greybeards to go do military things, and the military things he left to go do were massacring the Reachmen. Uh, yeah, what yeah, apparently so. He did that in his early 20s. Went straight from the mountain, marched his way across, and punched their shit in, I guess. Cool. Uh, feedback. Anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything you'd like to see more of or less of next time? Um, I, I will say, actually, um, that I appreciate it's probably because it's, it's the first session and it's the Skyrim starting cinematic esque that it was a bit talky heavy uh, from like cinematic wise. But uh... yeah, that's that's fair. It was the Skyrim intro, and I, I was just trying to keep it from derailing massively. <laughs> uh, ironically, I actually like I rewatched the Skyrim intro uh, the hour before this session, and the next video on the list was an extra credits episode saying like, ah, the Skyrim intro. How not to do a video game intro? Uh, intro, uh, intro. And my mental, the thing that came into my mind, my, my next thought was, ha, huh, that's fine. Though it'll be interactive when I do it. <laughs> oh, how wrong I was. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah. Valid feedback. We will hopefully be into a much more thoroughly agency-ish uh, period for, for the rest of the campaign, basically. That that was still very understandable constructive criticism. I was just trying to do the meme. But the yeah, meme took better. like an hour and a half. Uh, yeah, so, valid. Any other feedback? No? How um, are people... Oops, sorry, Carl. I was going to say... <laughs> I'm not sure how it goes, but like I am happy about no fear tests at the beginning because no one read <laughs> yeah. the rules again. <laughs> that but surprised perhaps... me. Uh, yeah. yeah, Alduin arguably should be a pretty difficult horror test. Uh, I completely didn't think at all. Uh, I uh, Honestly, I might have, but I was too busy trying to stop Benji getting killed. Because scripted, one guy dies at that execution. Absolutely only one. And it is the guy who goes up first, and even then only dies because he insists on being executed early rather than listening to Guff. Yeah, which I just saw Benji is becoming that NPC. I, I was so <laughs> tempted to just kill him then and there. I was thinking, no, don't do this without his permission. But he really clearly wants to be that one guy who does. And then I guess we give him one of the West Country Stormcloaks or something. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, that was, that was, oh, Christ. Um... Any other feedback? How ah, do we think the system is? How's the magic? It's like way less effort intensive on my end than I thought it was going to be, but it feels like it's a lot of bookkeeping for you guys. It's just keeping track of like your mana pool and deducting points from it. You've got to remember that things have a point cost. Yeah. It isn't bad. So it far, right? too much. I was disappointed that spells aren't easy. Because, you know, in the game, you can just spam spells willy nilly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It makes sense. I mean, should that actually be the point then? Are we trying to mimic the game so we can spam spells easily? Uh, not especially. In fact, technically, you're trying to. The magic system follows Morrowind, and Morrowind had a slightly more difficult spell system, to put it mildly. Uh, Morrowind very took the. Uh, Morrowind very much took the like. Fuck you, player. You will roll random dice until you get to a stage where you can cast a spell consistently. And even then, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I I am trying to make sure the NPCs don't fall victim to you know those guys in the like first ten minutes of Star Wars who they see the escape pod with the two droids on it that carry all of the plans that drive the entire rest of the series, and they go, there can't possibly be anything on that pod, there are no life signs, even though- Oh, what? You mean the guys who go, there's no life signs, when stolen parcel parcels of data do not qualify as life signs? Oh, absolutely, and in the setting where droids have existed for in excess of 20 to 30 thousand years as well. <laughs> uh, but even with droids, even in our own world, Stolen no, data tapes do not qualify as life forms. You're, you're totally correct. So I'm trying to make sure that the NPCs don't fall into that, where they go, oh, how could we have known that anyone would have basic magical training that you can buy at any school for a nominal fee? 
it's the nominal fee that gets you. It yeah. is, the, but it's it's also not an unreasonable expectation. And like, especially if you are a career criminal, a spell like unlock is definitely top of the list for. This is definitely useful to learn. Not too why I got it. No, it's an entirely reasonable <laughs> get, but also like. When you tie people up, you would tie people up in such a way that it is difficult to cast spells. Arguably, they should be putting gags on you, but intro sequence. Um, cool. Questions? Anything anyone was narratively unclear on, uh, in clear, uh, unclear on in that session? I think we already kind of covered the Benji almost killed himself repeatedly bit. Mm. And then focused on the one guy for vengeance who had nothing to do with your execution. <laughs> Like, literally everyone else that... Any narrative questions? <laughs> I'm good, I think, so far. Yeah, cool. Everyone's following I mean, the plot. There's a lot of, like, lore-heavy stuff that yourself, Benji, and Callum are throwing around, which I don't don't necessarily understand. So, I, don't know I, think. I feel um, like, yeah, I mean, on the, on the lore-heavy stuff, the stuff that we're putting into sort of Facebook chat will, in all likelihood, never come into the story. Oh. I can... Yeah. I could almost guarantee it, even not play, knowing. You can play <laughs> through basically every single Elder Scrolls game on as a game and not come across any of it. Yeah, the only thing that is going to be even vaguely like the Facebook chat stuff is is your backstory with trying to get into space, and even then, it's only relevant so far as getting into space. And barring an amazing adventure to your forgotten laboratory somewhere, uh... hey guys. <laughs> I'm not opposed. Let's not forget that you don't know where your laboratory is from an above-ground perspective. Yep. I mean, an awful lot of digging. Luckily, we have an archaeologist. And he has a well, shovel. You could find your way... Well, he doesn't at the moment. And you could find your way <laughs> if you were underground. Uh, if you could get to Blackreach somehow, or whatever its name is, I will look it up. Then... What is Blackreach? Blackreach is the big fuck-off cavern from Skyrim. Cool. If you vaguely remember it from the game at all. I don't think I went into it. So it's a huge, naturally occurring cavern, and it's got like four dwarven cities in it, basically. Is that the one with the giant, with the ancient Dwemer city in? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think I did go there. The giant glowing sphere on the ceiling. Yeah. I don't remember that, but a part of it I think I was in. Yeah, that's, that's Blackreach, basically. Uh, and it used to be basically, not technically the capital of Dwemer Skyrim, but it wasn't far off it. It was the largest confederation, or largest grouping of city-states in, in the province. And they mostly did fuck all, but occasionally war with each other and other city-states and, and do stupid Dwemer bullshit. <laughs> cool. Any other narrative questions? No? Okay. Then... let me work out how the fuck we give XP out. Don't suppose anyone knows a page. No idea. Uh, it was so on progression. Um, you have to learn how spending XP works as well. Um, I mean, don't, we don't yeah, it's more expensive now, than but... CR XP. Also, any CR XP you didn't spend gets converted to normal XP. I think I spent mine to a penny. I think I, man I left with 45, 45 XP left I had, which is rare for me. Normally I go to the full, the full monthly. No, I, uh... I made sure I had zero. Uh, I believe I also had zero. I didn't. I had a bit left. I, I have forty-five left. left. Is, is it a direct? I'm try a few things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might buy a few things. It's it. on page nineteen for character advancement. Yeah. Um, this is like really awkward. Um, primary means by which characters progress is through the accumulation of XP. This is awarded by the GM. And then nothing else. Ah, that's fine. We've played Dark Heresy. We can do something on this. So, looking at this, yeah, basically Dark Heresy rules. So, we'll do the, the question system again, unless anyone has any strong objections. So, first up, plot progression. Does anyone feel they made significant plot progression this session? We escaped our execution. Yeah! Indeed we did. That, that ding was perfectly timed. Yeah, that ding was perfect, god damn. I, I can't do that deliberately, I'm afraid. I just accidentally kicked my mug with my fits. <laughs> I feel like this is why you need to go and buy a bell. So it's why Amazon exists. Also, to make Jeff Bezos immense amounts of money whilst being a dick. And you do that by buying lots and lots of bells. Okay, so... 
does... God, what's the next one? Uh, character development. Does anyone feel like they developed their characters this session? I feel like I learned that I'm a classist prick, and I'm fine with this. Yeah, no, we, we went from having, like, a fairly vague impression of Yunbrick, which is reasonable, you're newish to the setting and, and you're newish to the character, to Yunbrick is a posh tourist lost in a foreign land who doesn't appreciate quite how fucked he is. <laughs> I kind of like it. I feel like I'm uh, feeling out my character base at the moment. Mm. I, was I was planning on going with the uh, uh, aggressive Nord, not a Nord thing, but I feel like Ben's got the whole uh, angry Nord zone up. That's fair. So I might be the crotchety straight man. Old, crotchety, crotchety old man. Crotchety old man. I might be the straight man of this pair. <laughs> oh dear. So you were just bringing it He is, and the other one was Ravir is I do want to point out that I'm now only going to be referring to the Khajiit Khajiit as small cat, medium cat, and big cat. Yeah, I like that. The second I realized you were in size order, just, well, obviously we have to do this. <laughs> It just works too well. I didn't. I didn't twig until you were literally sat on one another. It's size <laughs> <laughs> The trick is to move them all to another place without ever, you know. Oh. Cool. And finally, does anyone feel like anyone else role played particularly well? <laughs> I mean, I like I like Benji, Benji and Callum's role playing. I mean, I think actually everyone. I liked everyone's role playing. I, I need specifics, Solly. Okay, so it was Creed's just occasional outburst. Um, it was Cole's haggling. Benji's um, stubborn refusal to. Uh, I'm not even sure what he was stubbing, stubbornly refusing to do, but it nearly ended up with him Everything. dying. Submit to bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not part of your system. <laughs> oh, Fuck um, you, I won't do what you tell me <laughs> you, I won't do what you tell me, my lover Fuck you, you it's difficult, you can't squeeze the extra syllables in um, I can't Cool uh, and I think it was Callum's Extreme Law And then Nick's <laughs> I, I don't know why, but I feel like he's role-playing a very large horse cat very well <laughs> Just he a general... Is weirdly quite good at it, I'll give you that. Like, I wasn't expecting... Because you're not... You're generally a good role player, right, Nicholas? But I this is a very specific role and mindset to be in. And it everyone is. else is still feeling out much more standard characters. Whereas you've kind of neatly slipped into the role of the somewhat angry horse cat. Very handsome weirdly, horse cat. Weirdly, weirdly well. Not even addressing that. Yeah, I explained to someone. I explained to someone that you were a large hawk cat um, with the attractive trait, and someone went, "Oh, so you just created a furry in Skyrim?" <laughs> Have you Again. seen my portrait? <laughs> Again, not yes. going anywhere near any of this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can put down the Callum one because his law knowledge isn't role play. I, uh, yeah, I suppose it was just well played. I uh, I, I'm also going to give a very small bonus XP point for Carl managing to get the Khajiit phrase in in the first session in a way that made sense. <laughs> cool, and then... Okay, so I made that out to be... Well, I guess the law part was the conversation Callum and Benji were having in character. So I make that out to be, uh, by my count, because yeah, it's screw power levels, uh, 175 experience points for session number one. So that's 20 points, standard, for plot progression, escaping the execution, which I spelled with two N's for some reason. Uh, 20 points for Yunbrick being a posh tourist lost in a foreign land who doesn't realise quite how fucked he is, and Revere being the straight man to Arnold's crotchety old man. 30 points, so slight bonus, for Creed's magnificent cat voice. The fact that this cat just <laughs> says meow, but every now and then announces things in a fairly regal voice kills me. Uh, uh, Coral's haggling, Benji stubbornly almost dying in the first session, and he was really trying. 
uh, young Nicholas being born to play a horse cat, uh, plus your standard, uh, plus your standard, plus five bonus points for Carl managing to get the Khajiit has wares in in the first sesh, uh, and your standard hundred general. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that means it's time for everyone's favorite part of the session. It's the highlights. Creed, do you have any highlights for that session? Um, I liked Benji's stubborn denial of execution. <laughs> I <laughs> the reality and I substituted with my own. Benji's misappropriated rage is such an ongoing theme in every goddamn campaign. <laughs> uh, anything else? That Benji always uh, has a poem to pick with some NPC. <laughs> I say. Uh, come back to me on this one. Fair. Young Nicholas, do you have any highlights for that session? Um, I'm just getting sold. <laughs> <That's fine>. <laughs> <Grim>. <laughs> uh, any other highlights? Um, one or two, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like Carl might want them and so forth. So. <laughs> Uh, I know I give a lot of them, but like, don't like, no. Well, no, 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 because they are your ones that they're to do with you and so forth. Mm, so. Oh no, go for it! I, I try and avoid my own ones. Um, <laughs> again, I think it has to be put in uh, in highlights for Khajiit has wares if you have coin. God damn it, Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Is that one of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and um, I think that I think that would be happy with that. It's not the definition of a couple, for the record, but okay. Uh, Callum, do you have any highlights for that session? Um, I'm going to go with uh, first backfire. <laughs> first backfire. <laughs> it's good. One. First two. So is there a first chew? <laughs> Could we have potentially killed the dragonborn if we, you know, if we saw some random, like if we just were split singing spells out? Was the dragonborn also there? The dragonborn was there, yes. Should have aimed for the guy with the pointy hat. For no real reason in character. Also Should have aimed for the guy whose face suddenly started changing as soon as he got off the cart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> horrifying <laughs> eldritch being. <laughs> <laughs> what race are you? Are you all walking Kashyyyk? One guard looks on in mute horror. I'll just put down whatever you say, Mr. Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, just not okay. making eye contact. Like, <laughs> Do you, that actually would have been a really clever subversion. I should have done that. Fuck. Um, kill the skin changer first. <laughs> <laughs> they do kill him second in the thing. But that's very true. So you, you would have been able to see who it was, but Benji jumped the rankings. <laughs> I am the dragonborn. <laughs> You're not the dragonborn just because you almost died. Screw Narratively, it. I am. No. <laughs> that is how Akatosh chooses the dragonborn. Oh, he certainly doesn't I... choose it logically. Uh, Callum, <laughs> do you have any other highlights for that session? I know it's cheating because it's me, but I will go with Aldi with his double takes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we just sat there going, the party should be dead. I'd like to kill them right now, but sure would be a shitty way to TPK. 30 minutes from the end of the first session, you will get eaten by a dragon. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that would explain how you don't appear in the games. Any other highlights? Very true. Uh, no, I'll leave it at that. Fair. Benji, do you have any highlights for that session? The widely... Sorry, the incredibly wide range of stuff that we value. One man and his full alchemist lab, a man and his shovel, a man and his flute. <laughs> Clearly you didn't value yours, you didn't speak up. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, he has a wide variety of highly valued sentimental items. Cool. Probably not even his good shovel. <laughs> My scrolls are worth more than your cities combined, probably. I mean, arguably, yes, actually. Uh, Probably, Dwemer, yeah. Dwemer literature is ridiculously difficult to acquire. Uh, for no really good reason, actually. <clears throat> but, uh, but yes, any other highlights, Benji? I think so. I think we've covered most of them. Cool. 
Ollie, do you have any highlights for that session? The 300 meter wide shouts that <laughs> cause a dragon to look over. <laughs> What was his name? Alduin? Alduin, yeah. He briefly considers taking up the offer. Shout it out. Coin? Mm. <laughs> Just the dragon Where's? going. Where's? Mm. <laughs> I need Wait. to end this cowper. <laughs> the dragon being like, do I want to help with this car? Nah. <laughs> uh, what else? I... Ah. Oh. <laughs> that poor NPC having to endure that cart ride. <laughs> Surprisingly open-minded NPC. Cool. Anything else, Ollie? Uh, no, that's it for me. Carl, do you have any highlights for that session? Oh, that was him. Uh... Yunbrick, uh, just standing motionless in the middle of absolute destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. Alduin's vision is based on movement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it worked for six minutes. <laughs> Honestly, still... mostly because we're in a six-player session, it's a bit chaotic and I was cutting you a fair amount of slack. I had several buildings explode around you and you just weren't taking the hints. <laughs> The oh. horse figured it out before you did. It, I thought I actually... I, I was waiting for, like, a cue to just move on, and I, I remember hearing the other people r r running away, and I was like, oh, cool, this would be a good time. And I opened it, so I, well, I tried to cast open originally, and then it didn't work, and then we moved on to another character. I think I did that twice. And then and then I went out of the gate. So I'm blaming the GM for this. This is entirely the GM's fault, and not... Yeah. Not linked. Uh, Callum... <laughs> <laughs> Secret GM. <laughs> uh, no, it's my it I like me. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Yeah, like it. <laughs> it's, it's in the law. More <laughs> it's in you the can't law. just say it's in the law. In the, I think you'll find that in the canon we'd get five thousand extra. No. Uh, any other highlights, uh, Carl? I mean, technically, again, because because we all live inside someone's daydream. Yeah, but it's Callum, my yeah. Rawr, if if you just believe enough, he has more See, experience. Because it's yeah. in the law, Cal no. secret GM Callum. Can I buy Dragon Ren? <laughs> I'm a GM Callum. I'm the crusty old man of the corner. You just yeah. poke me in occasionally. I just throw out Amaranth. So, so two things. <laughs> One, Dragon Ren literally hasn't been invented yet. You're at the start of Skyrim. Uh, and Dragon Man was invented thousands yeah. of years oh, ago. Yeah, so technically, it's so yeah. hasn't twirls been, my hasn't law been. mustache. If you time travel <laughs> back in time, you can look at the word and see if you can pick it up. But none of you are Dragonborn, so no Dragon Man for anyone. And well, neither Dragonborn. But I'm Dragon Man. You know what? S moving on. Carl, <laughs> Carl, do you have any other highlights? No. I mean, the closest thing we have is Carl being wagon born, and that's about it. It's not Ollie. The campaign's literally called cart born. Wagon born. I'm not punning. Wagon born. Creed. <laughs> wagon born. Do you have any other highlights? Yeah, the the cat gang dash from a Nord. Oh, I forgot that guy. I'm yeah. Not Twelve. <laughs> Like straight up Terminator. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Any other highlights? And um, the cat gang immediately stopped for coin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's no better motivation than a big old stompy dragon behind you to <laughs> set someone free, right? I think, I think it would like, work better. Because you realise you're allowed to have consciences, right? You goddamn psychopaths. As you watch this elf waddle to his certain doom in the mountain pass, not even stopping to use the keys that you literally have in hand. That's a point. Um, oh, I completely forgot. Uh, at one point, it was like, I'm trying to figure out a reason why we should stop and help these people right now. <laughs> Big old dragon boy. <laughs> I just, I'm really pleased with myself that I recognise what Creed meant when he said meow. <laughs> uh, uh, is you really 
were born to play the role of a horse cat. <laughs> <laughs> I know I love it even more is I, I can understand that I can only speak Khajiit so I can just mutter things under my breath that no one can ever understand. Apart from other Khajiit? Yeah, apart from the other yeah. two members of the party. 50% of the party Which speak. Uh, Which is fine. No one else in the world. No, no NBC's going to know. Apart from... Other so Khajiit Khajiit is better than, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. But my language is better than your language anyway, so, you know. Anywho. We're still alive. So, that's a fair <laughs> number of highlights. Thank you all for a very entertaining session number one. We'll see how things go. I have scoped out about ten sessions worth of content. We'll see how that lasts. How much XP was it again, sorry you? It was 175, I believe. Yes, 175. Uh, we might end up extending very slightly. We'll see how people are feeling, but I vaguely suspect... Uh, suspect. I, yeah, I, I vaguely suspect that everyone's kind of in the Elder Scrolls fuckabout mood, so we might have side adventures potentially <laughs> side I mean, quests you say scrolls. i'm not giving you side quests i suspect you may get sidetracked there is a difference <laughs> side quests okay and that they're, they're, like they're a, side quests that we make and that seems like a good place to stop the recording i'd like to join the dark brotherhood <laughs>